hello there good evening welcome to the channel welcome to the stream the live the video whatever you want to call it thank you for tuning in we're checking out valheim today uh we finished up our most recent eldering playthrough and figured i would try something a little bit different on stream you know kind of cap off the end of the year with a little bit of a survival game i did play a little bit of valheim with my wife she showed me the ropes uh you know just kind of acquainted me with the game and so now that we've done that we're starting a brand new character in a brand new world from very very beginning you can see uh newish that's my test world i was making sure that my recording stuff would go well and these two worlds are my wife's so we're going to start a brand new server um solo juice hours yeah that 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 means i'm playing alone we're solo baby we're solo baby thank you all for tuning in today you're coming to hang out with me now the way i like to explain this game from my perspective um it's like elden ring meets minecraft it's got you know it's got the combat with dodging and blocking and parrying and then there's a little bit of a like there's backstab damage and then you have the minecraft idea where there's crafting and your basic survival stuff like chopping down trees and trying to find things like copper and tin to make bronze all that stuff so i that's what i i call this like a the love child of elden ring and minecraft that's how i explain this game it's not easy i i do expect to die a lot this will be fun though i'll have a good time with it thank you all for tuning in checking out some valheim with me who do I see in chat? I see Biggie, Dual Drive, Lord Homeless, Cosmic Kitty, Raja, Steve F, Biggie, Dadang, and Winter. I see Ludo and Jen and Shark, Scarecrow, Janet, Katie Louise, Hawk Meyer, Barge and Hagrail. I see Cassandra. I see Sandman, Dalvin, Mifid Blue. How's it going, everyone? Tadoris, hello? Hurex with another month of memberships. It's good evening, everyone. Greetings from Austria. Thank you for joining us for another day of streaming. Hope you're doing well, Rex. Hey, Bradley. Hey, Colton. Slim Jim. Happy holidays, dude. Hey, Ludwig. Hey, Carmen. James. What's going on, guys? Talita. Alexandra. Hello there. This says, long ago, the Allfather Odin united the worlds. He threw down his foes and cast them into the tenth world, then split the boughs that held their prison to the world tree and left it to drift, unanchored, a place of exile. For centuries, this world slumbered uneasily, but it did not die. As glacial ages passed, kingdoms rose and fell out of sight of the gods. When Odin heard his enemies were growing once again in strength, he looked to Midgard and sent his Valkyries to scour the battlefields for the greatest of their warriors. Dead to the world, they would be born again in Valheim. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, Robin, I've actually, uh, I've not made it to Mistlands yet. The furthest I ever made it was just to the second boss, and that was with wife. I didn't even fight the first boss. I just killed the second one with wife, uh, just to kind of learn the game. And now here we are, flying into a new world. Is that Hoogan or Moonin? I'm assuming that's what this bird is. I am on PC, Johnny. Hey, fun boy. Hey, Lori. Hey, Persephone. Hey, Ronaldo. What's going on, guys? Well met. Hey, it is Hoogan. Welcome to the 10th World Warrior. I'm Hoogan, sent here to guide you in your travels. The megaliths surrounding you are sacrificial stones. They represent the Forsaken, which you must slay in order to ascend to Valhalla. Oh. This, this stone is Vegvisir. These magical stones were scattered throughout the lands by Odin as signposts pointing towards the ritual grounds of the Forsaken. If inspected closer, this one will reveal the summoning place of Ekthir, your first prey. He's a mighty beast, so you need to properly arm yourself before even attempting to defeat him. Okay, so when you find these things, it registers the actual location of the boss. 
Uh, I know there are several locations you can summon a boss, and you have to like use certain things to summon different bosses. I'm not sure what this first boss actually takes, but we'll figure that out as we play the game. Let's get some raspberries going. All right, so I need to find wood on the ground. Hey, May. What's this bird want? What you want? A tasty morsel. You found a snack. Consume it to improve your health and stamina. Be aware that before long, you will grow hungry again. So try always to have at least a couple different meals ready. So on the bottom left, guys, you see how there's that little fork icon in those three slots. You can eat up to three different things to get three different buffs. So you can see raspberries here. It says sweet and delicious. It gives me seven health and 20 stamina for 10 minutes. So we eat that. And now we have more health and more stamina to go with. Take stock of your inventory. Most items must be crafted. However, due to your recent departure from Midgard, you'll have to recall the true shape of objects. Just pick things up and it'll all come back to you, I'm sure. My lesser brother, Moonin, tells me one can fashion a stone axe out of wood and stone. Yeah, so let me get some stone. We need to find branches. Oh, that's, that's a monster. There's a branch for some wood. Look at that. Look at those recipes. Let's see. All right, I need five wood, four stone. I can't chop down any trees or anything just yet. So we're looking for branches on the ground to get easy wood. Very good. Sandman, thank you for the $5 super chat. Good afternoon, Josh, and happy holidays. Hey, happy holidays to you too, man. Whatever it is that you celebrate, I hope it's happy for you. Maybe the fiber, dude. I appreciate it a lot. Thank you. And Pooh Rock, thank you again for the membership, dude. I appreciate that as well. Oh my god, that thing is chasing me. I need more stone and I need more wood. Oh my god, a grayling. I've already got monsters on me, but I can't find enough material. Valheim's a fun game. Hope you enjoy it. Yeah, the little bit that I've played, I really liked, so... I'm looking forward to playing more of this. And of course, if you guys are uh, wanting to see more, make sure you leave a like on the video for me. It will help out in a big way. Ooh, a torch. And some flint. Ow, dude. What the heck, man? You know what? I will use a torch as a weapon right now. I don't even care. You're burning. Yeah. How does it feel? I will literally hit you with a tight, a torch. And we have some mushrooms here as well. Very nice. Let's uh, pop one of those bad boys. Heck yeah. Hey, t -Ponch. Hey, Morgan. You haven't tried this game? I've played it a little bit with my wife. Very minimal amounts. But uh, that little bit that I have played, I really like. So I wanted to try it out on stream as well. All right. We finally have enough to make an axe. So let's craft that. Stone axe is made. Uh, let's put these all the way down here. And then one... Oh, I have a torch in my other hand, too. Let me turn that off. Okay, let's cut down the tree. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. What's up, idea? What is the next game? And we're playing the next game right now, man. Valheim. Yeah, I've heard this game is quite challenging for people that play solo. But uh, I'm cool with that. I'm down for a challenge. What's up, Josh Meadows? Hey, Southern. How's it going, Suzanne? Welcome both. All right, some wood. We got wood. Hey, Kitsune. How's it going? Good to have you back. All right, let's see. Um, should probably make this hammer. I know hammer is useful in crafting stuff. Repairing campfires, blah, blah, blah. Stone piles, cooking stations, workbenches. Yes, very good. Very good. Let's talk to the burb. You've crafted a hammer. With this tool, you will raise mighty halls and towering fortifications. Start by building a workbench, and this, and this in turn will enable you to construct other things. 
Okay, thanks. Okay, thanks. For now, I'm cutting down trees. Plan to kill all main bosses or just hop in for a few hours. You can spend it to 100 hours just doing the main part, depending on your speed. Um, I'm just taking the game as it comes to me, man. I will go out of my way to try to kill bosses, but... You know, I'm going to explore around and stuff, too. Hey, Mel. Oh, that got stuck on the tree. Oh, oh, hey. Who the hell do you think you are? Come here. Evil little monster. Come here, let me parry you. Come here. Very good. Very good. Shark, thank you for 11 euros. All these call outs for needing wood. Where's Urban Marine when you need him? Fine, I'll do it. Got some wood right here for you, bud. Yeah, someone's got to say it, man. Someone's got to say it. <laughs> thank you, dude. I appreciate it, Shark. Thank you very much. Hey, monster. Nice, Dustin. That's awesome, man. This game seems very chill. Oh, this game has extremely cozy vibes. Yes. Extreme cozy vibes with this one. Hey, Richard. You just returned from the hospital? I hope all is well for you, Katie. Hope everything's all right. I'm doing all right, typical. How are you, man? Hey, Dalvin. Hey, Hugu. Okay, now let's see. Uh, we need to do this and then crafting. Let's let's pop a workbench down somewhere. Let's go pop a workbench down somewhere a little more flat, somewhere we can make a quick little house. Just a just a little small guy, you know. Just a little small dude, nothing big. Need a, I need a I need a clearing. All right, you know what? Hold on, let me. I just need a tiny little clearing. What kind of game is Valheim? It's a survival game. Hey, Dahlia, what's up? Cozy for now. Meadow's a safe place that you can always run back to relax. Yeah, that's true. I went into the swamp with my wife a little, uh, oh, a little, like a couple day days ago on her day off just to try it out. And those droggers kicked my ass, man. Especially the droggers with the bows, man. Oof. I don't know much about the game otherwise, though. The boss is right over here. So I probably don't want to build my house here, then. Hmm. Let's see. Scarecrow, thank you for the $2 super chat. Handy tip, press R to holster so you run faster. True, my wife told me that too. Thanks for the two spot, dude. Thanks for the two. All these trees in the meadows. All these trees in the meadows, man. Yeah, they, the, the map is massive. It's, uh, I mean, generally speaking, survival games have large maps. Indeed. Ludo, thank you for the 10 PLN. After seeing this, gotta play it. Thanks, Josh. Heck yeah, dude. I'm glad I could show you something new. Oh, what's this? What is this? Feathers and amber. Amber says valuable. Feathers, I'm assuming, will be used to make arrows, if I had to guess. That makes sense to me. Uh, what do you guys say we we try to fix up this little guy? Let's try to fix up fix up this little guy right here. This little bud dude. This little house. First things first, we have to chop down this tree. It's probably gonna fall over and take out majority of the house, but it's fine. Hey, Terry. You hope they have large maps? Yeah, that's true. You, you, they, they should. Oh, no. 
They should have large maps, but they don't always. You know what I should do first? Let me... No? Look at that. I'm fit right there. Very good. Hey, what's up, Hoogan? Workbench allows you to craft complex items as well as giving you access to lots more building pieces to construct with the hammer. Oh, it just, it just unlocked so many things. Oh, are you here to invade my, my privacy? Go away. All right, let me... I need a roof. Before we can do this, we need a roof. You actually have to provide cover. Uh, let's see. Wood wall. We got thatch roof. We are constructing. We are constructors. Yes. Very good. Can I use it now? Too exposed. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Let me see if this will actually have the... I think my axe is going to break first. Yep. All right, hold on. Let's see if we can push this. Stop breaking all my stuff. There we go. Get out of here. Very good. Okay, this. Um, we need to change to wood wall. There you go. There you go. We are constructing. How about a door? Can I make a door? Very good. Guys, look at this. Look at this. Isn't that something? Look at that. A nice little door. It's still too exposed. I guess we just need to continue to build roofs and stuff. There you go. Very nice. Very good. No, come on. Right there. 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 Can I use this yet? Too exposed. Damn it. Um, let me think. This is not very matching, is it? I should have done the, uh, the lower, the lower thing. Take all, drop all by pressing control. That's good. That's a good tip. That's good. That's a good tip. Uh, let me see. Number six. That's floor. We don't want floor. Now, if I break things, if I break things, it doesn't actually like lose material, right? It all just turns back into wood and I can pick it all back up for free. Yeah. Um, two wood. Yeah. It just gives me the wood right back. Nice. Hold on, we are we are no longer constructors, we are destructors. Very nice. Okay, now this right here. Is it this one? Nope, that's not it at all. It's this one. Look at that, guys. We are builders. We are building. I'm not Bob the Builder, though. Get that out of here. I'm Josh the Builder. Josh the Builder. Hey, can I use this thing yet? Am I no longer exposed? We're no longer exposed. And so you see this right here, repair an item. If you have a workbench that, you know, something that can be made at a workbench, you can repair things by just hitting that. It doesn't cost any material and just boom, it's all there again. Very good. Very good. Let's get rid of this. Nice house. Thanks, man. Pretty proud of it. Now let's go ahead and, um, we need to repair things. I got a rock in my house. 
Damn it. What was, uh, what did I just see? This lower health. Oh, was it that one? All right. Okay. Um... Can I, can I just, there we go. There we are. Yeah, Mason, thanks for joining me for it, dude. 20 minutes in, already have a house, bro, gamer. <laughs> Only 20 minutes. Okay, um, is it this one? No, nope, that's not it. It's this one. Look at that. Look at that. There's a lot of plants in here, though. Can I get rid of those? Oh, I guess I'm going to put down wood flooring. I'll probably get rid of them. Missing requirement? Oh, I'm all out of wood. I'm all out of wood. I'm not going to chop the trees down right next to my house. I feel like it's a bad idea. So let's go this one. Out of stamina. Uh, let's eat that. Put the food next to each other. What type of weapons do you think I should use, guys? I know there's swords, spears, clubs, axes. What should we use? Oh, we got the domino effect. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Club is kind of good in spears. That's funny because I, I enjoy using clubs and spears in video games. I enjoy that a lot. Daggers only run. Honestly, I would use the knives in this game if I thought that sneaking was relevant, but I don't think sneaking is really all that relevant in most of the game. <gasps> uh, so listen, the tree fell on me and killed me to death. <laughs> First death in the game, tree falls on Josh's head. Tree falls on Josh's head. Yeah, it's a different way to get killed by gravity. Leave it to me to find a way, guys. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You suffered a, suffered a mortal blow. Each time you are struck down, you will forget a small part of your abilities and drop your belongings at the site of the accident. Oh, you forget skills? If you wish you were home by now, I'd recommend building a bed wherever home may be. Yeah, I need to build a bed. Shit, man. I'm going to get crushed by a damn tree. Leave it to me, man. Don't worry. Our stuff is right here. It's fine. Jesus, dude. Okay, let's eat this. There we go. Damn it, man. I got to be careful, guys. Yeah, mortal blow by wood. Maybe you should use a tree as a weapon. Yeah, just swing around the logs. I agree. Hey, is that a viable strat? Can I just like weaken trees in the area and then just like hit them with an axe real quick to fell them on top of enemies? We can spring the traps. It's a lanternless run. I got you. I got you, man. Don't worry. Let's 
stamina. There we go. So if you're if you're unaware uh, at this point in the game, you can see that it's very stam stamina reliant. Be wary of the weather when the temperature drops at night, or if you're wet, you will suffer from being cold. This reduces your stamina regeneration. Seeking shelter by an open flame is your best option for when this happens. Right. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire and all that. Hey, Greybeard. It's going all right, JR. How are you, man? I'm just going to grab all this wood so that way I don't have to worry about it for a little while. Excuse you. Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? Hey, come here. Why are you running? I just want to be friends. Okay. I guess he doesn't really want to hang out with me anymore. Okay, so the grass is still coming through the wood. Let's build a hoe. That sounds like someone knocking at the door. Um. Oh. Look at that. Look at that. We leveled that stuff. Uh, let's do this. Repair this. That one, that one, and that one, and that one, and that one. Place some more floorboards. All right, hold on. That was a little uneven. I don't like that. Okay. Okay, now. About making fire. I can't make anything fire related, which means I need to find some more stuff to be able to do so. Flint axe, huh? Oh, let me make a club. You guys want to see me use clubs as weapons? We'll go clubs and spears whenever I can make spears. Because I think you can throw the spears, I believe. All right. Um, oh, I, I have... Clothing. Let's throw that on. All right, let's see. I can make arrows. Wood arrows don't require feathers. I thought they would. Okay. I can't. I can't make a bow yet, though, so I'm not too concerned. Oh, you know what? We might be able to see the fire stuff in here. Cooking station. Shopping block. Campfire. Okay, knowing this game, though, if I were to make a campfire, I feel like if I put it indoors, it would kill me. Like, it would just burn the whole house down, or I need some type of ventilation. That's pretty basic survival stuff. I say we set the whole house on fire? Oh, okay. That's fine, Matt. That's fine, dude. Just burn it all, dude, right? Let's make a bed. Your boy's got to sleep sometimes. Why is there a bird in my bed? I bring tidings. A headrest for the weary. Sleep the night away in your bed to awaken feeling refreshed and full of energy. Another improvement to your home could be or would be some chests where you can store items. It is good practice to always have some spare equipment if something unfortunate should happen to you while you're exploring. Bed needs a nearby fire. All right. Hold on. I think the bird's out here. You want to talk to me again? What's up? I've crafted a hoe? Right. Oh, I didn't mean to smack the bird. I'm sorry. Uh, I think I think Hoogan might be a little upset at me now. So there's that. Uh, let me see about maybe... Mm. Where do I want to put this fire, though? Maybe right here? I don't know. We have to find some rocks as well for the fire, right? Yeah, I need stone. I need stone. We need one more. We got flints, no stone. Hey, 
What's up? Oh my. Okay, we can make rag stuff. We can make a crude bow, flint knife, wood shield, wood tower shield, flint spear. There it is. That's the stuff I'm looking for right there, guys. That's the stuff. Hey, Abalala, what's up? Just saw the Melania first try fight. That was clutch. Yo, thanks, man. Um, I'll just put the fish in my pocket real quick. It's fine. Hey, look, more fish. This time it's perch. I need stone. That's flint. I mean, I can make flint stuff now, so I mean, that's not bad. Flint things. Ah, oh, there's a stone. This PC only? Um, I think so. I don't know if it's on any of the consoles at the moment. I, I'm truly unsure. Is the DLC missed out or not? Yeah, that's out. I've not, I'm not anywhere close to getting to playing that myself, though. So I have no idea what the experience is like. Hold on. Do I have to remove the wood here? Yep. Aw, so cozy. Okay, okay, guys, I was right. Do you see the smoke rising? I think you actually have to have some type of ventilation. That's cool. That's pretty cool. Let's take a nap now. Right next to the cozy little fire. Mad, they give the $2 super chat. That Melania first try fight was magic. Hey, thanks, dude. Hey, thanks, man. I don't like how dark it is but i can understand why uh it's it's only dark out because it, it's night dude like you see now it's you know going towards the morning hours and the sun's coming up just like any other survival game it's got a a day and night cycle a time cycle if you will cooking station do i have to put this over a fire i assume it looks like it Um, let's cook that boar that we just killed. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Wait, we're in a, a boar trophy. This boar head would make for a nice decoration in any house. Can I just throw that on the wall? Use boar trophy on what? Yeah, that's a great question. We'll figure that out another time, I guess. Okay, that sounded like it was done cooking. I'm assuming you can burn things in the game too, right? There's only one survival game I've played where you couldn't burn food, and that was Grounded. Grounded didn't let you burn food for some reason. Which, you know, probably for the best, but... Alright, let's eat another one of those. Uh, let me think. What else? What else can I get right now? What do I? What do I need? Flint knife. Reliable tool. Let's see about. I have a tunic already. Let's make some pants. We need more leather scraps. So I need to kill more boar. And a wood shield, which it needs more leather scrap as well. And then a flint spear. We need ten more flint. Okay, we're gonna go murder some boar. We're gonna go kill some boar, guys. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Don't you don't you stress. We're fine. Hey, friendo, what's up? Everything's fine. Oh, it's a little foggy out. A little fog. A little fog. Oh my god, that bird. What do we hear that sounds like barking? Are they deer? They might be deer. What are you? Oh my god, you are the cutest damn thing. Oh, you bite. Jesus. 
Man, I was, I was all excited. It's like, oh, they're little, like, salamanders. But they bite you. Damn it. There's a whole bunch of them here. What the heck? When the cute little lizard dudes bite, feels bad. Hey, come here. Hey guys, why do the cute little lizard dudes have to bite? Katie, they give you the two pounds. That isn't good news. I'm sorry to hear it, Katie. I'm really sorry. I hope whatever it is, you can strain it out soon. We're dropping necktail. Inedible when raw, but proves to be quite tasty snack if cooked. Oh. Man, we really are living off the land, aren't we? Abalala, thank you for becoming a member of the channel as well. Let's see those cult emotes for the new non-cult member. Thank you very much, Abalala. Thank you very much. I appreciate it a lot, dude. Thank you. Hope you enjoy the emotes you can use in chat as well as my videos comment sections. There's a lot of flint here. May as well take it so we can make that spear. We can also make a flint axe, which is probably a step up as well. The music is a vibe? It is. The music is kind of a vibe. It's kind of cool. All right. Inventory full? No. 191 of 300. Still plenty of space here. Something that does weird me out about the game, though, is like every so often you'll hear like a shuffling and like some bushes or like a breaking twig or something, and then nothing is actually there. It's like false ambience. Okay, so it is the deer that are barking. Hey, come here. Come here. Hey. These guys are so weird. They'll walk up to you and just like not attack all right let's see what we got uh, a few necktails i need to get i need to kill more boar we need to kill so many more boar guys oh skill run improved i'm assuming when you level up run and jump it makes it so it'll uh take less stamina when you use those i'm assuming the glowing eyes mean extra runes yes I was already a member yeah i just like to make sure like if someone does it themselves that it's like i reintroduce you to the community and stuff and even so i will always call people out like if you become a member like that that's a really generous thing the least i can do is uh you know thank you Playing with any mods? No, this is completely modless, vanilla. It's the first time I'm starting like my own thing, so. Okay, the boar hurt a little bit. We need more, uh, more boar scraps. Where's all the boar? Oh, that's a deer. Let me smack you. Hey, why do you have a star next to your name? What's that about? Come here. Let me smack you with my club. You have so much damn health for a deer, man. Come here. Come here, man. Come here. I'm out of stamina. There it is. Give me your skin and your meats. Ah, 
that? Deer hide, deer rug, deer meat times three. The star is the level. Okay. Hey, dude. Harried. Yeah, so you can you can just parry by blocking. You just got to time the block at the right time. So with that said, I'm absolutely going to be building a buckler. I need more boar. That's a rock, not a boar. I swear I have ADD. I'm looking for boar and everything is distracting me while trying to find boar. Hmm, some little mushies. We must build a monument to the crows. Your ribs are slightly bruised and pulled. Okay, so it doesn't feel good. I've had rib injuries too from playing hockey. It doesn't feel good, but at least it's something that'll heal, right? Runestone, what's this? Pause, traveler. You are welcome to the you are welcome to the last and most lawless of the ten worlds. In Valheim, the air is pure, the water deep and clear, and the forest overflowing with bounty. Here is adventure, joy, and glory for the taking. Aw. Thanks. They basically said, yo, welcome, have fun. Hey, thanks, guys. What a nice guy. Oh, I'm wet. So yeah, being wet and cold will actually reduce your stamina regen as well. That's a thing, too. Where's this? Cooked boar meat, 30 health? Nice. Shit, man. Just gonna grab all the flint in the world. Guys, where are all the boar? Really loving the music? Yeah, it's pretty cool. What is this game? This is Valheim. A Viking survival game. Oh, there's a boar. Come here, you little shit. All right. Leather scraps. We now have five. I need like, I don't know, like 10 or something. What's that weird stutter? What is this? Hey. Smash. What are you? Can I parry you? Okay. Oh, the parrying is pretty easy. Look at all these raspberries. Oh, you guys want to see something else very cool, though, in this game? You can actually mark things. You see how, like, when I double click, it'll leave a little icon? And then you can right click it to get rid of it and then click it again to put a little red X on it. What I'm going to do here is use this one. And that way, I always know there's a good little raspberry patch here. That's pretty cool, man. Hey, Kai, what's up, man? Another game on your channel that I've never seen? Heck yeah, dude. Thanks for joining me for it. You could eat another bite. Well, I just found some raspberries, so let's eat those. Yeah, I know there's deer everywhere. I'll I'll take care of more deer when I can use like a uh, like spears or something. For now, I just need more boar. I need their skin. That sounds dark. When you say it out loud, you know, it's like, you know, it's, it's basic survival stuff. You know, it's, it's how our society got to where we are. We use the land and things that grew on the land and lived off the land themselves to advance our own society. When you tell, when you, ha when you actually walk around and say, Hey, I need your skin for something like that's just creepy, man. That's just creepy. Any boar? 
Oh, there's so many boar here. Yes. Come here. Oh, we are going boar farming. Come here. Very good. You don't feel rested anymore. Yeah, the weight of skinning animals <laughs> is starting to get to me. <laughs> so we say leather now. That's true. What's up, emo? How's it going? You. Okay, we have a good 10 scraps now, but let's go see what this uh, runestone thing said. Where is it? Oh, another boar. Hold up. Let me sneak on him. We're sneaking. Oh, skill improved. Sneak one. Damn, it saw me. Come here. Why are you running? Runestone. This land is hard and wild, but we who are brought here are harder still. Take comfort, traveler, in the gifts before you, the good wood and stone, the fruits and flowers of the forest. Look also to the wild boar who roam these lands. They fear fire and the hand of man, but they can be taught to obey it. Oh. Go quietly to them and let them eat of your stock. Roots of the ground are their pleasure. Oh, shit. We can have pet boar. I mean, they probably don't mean pets. They probably mean like we can create our own little farm of them. But yeah, uh, let me go ahead and mark this on the map. Boar? Question mark. Maybe they'll respawn here. <laughs> the land may be hard, but we are harder still. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> No one's as hard as us humans, you know what I mean? All right, now that we took a bunch of uh, boar leather scraps and meat and stuff, let's head back to the house. To the old humble abode. Hey guys, thank you for tuning in, by the way. I know this is very different than the usual stuff we play on stream, but the fact that you're still coming by to hang out with me and check out something new means the absolute world. Thank you guys for being here. Hey, I truly cannot thank you enough. Hey, what are you? What do you want? So I'm assuming that noise is like a like critical hit noise. Or if not critical hit, then it's like um, counterattack damage or knockback damage. Bone fragments. Guys, I found some bones. You guys ever pick up bones and just put them in your pocket? your ribs kill you hey i know it, it sucks because you feel it on every breath i'm sorry katie see wind lines yeah those are wind lines they basically show you which way the wind is going at the time it's pretty good you also see the direction they're going on the mini map on the top right of the screen you see that little arrow on the bottom left that's the direction in which the wind is currently blowing Matt, thank you for the gifted membership. Looks like it went out to Greybeard. Thank you, man. Thank you, dude. For the gift arena. Let's see those cult emos for the new non-cult member. Thank you. I appreciate it. Let's cook some stuff. Let's make ourselves a uh, flint spear. Let's also make ourselves a wood shield. And then let's make ourselves... I need a crude bow, so I need to get more leather scrap. I feel like a bow is a good idea. Ooh. I'll take those. Thank you. I need another chest as well. Oh, 
I don't have enough wood. Damn. <laughs> well, we made a whole bunch of chests, so we're we're good to go there for a while. Let's see. I need to make pants. Guys, we got pants, baby. Would you look at that? Oh my god. Guys, I have pants on. Isn't that something? Guys. Pants. Pants. Shark, they give the six euros. Bone, wood, this game, the game that keeps on giving. I know, right, dude? Right? <laughs> Shark, thank you, dude. Yeah, we got them greaves, baby. Guys, look at this. This game is so damn cozy, isn't it? All right, we're cooking some, uh, some deer meat, it looks like. Oh, wait, that doesn't look like deer meat. What is that? Oh, oh God, don't stand in the fire. It burns. Water, water. Oh, my God. Okay, so um, today I learned do not walk in the fire. Yes. I feel like a caveman. We have learned. <laughs> we have learned. Do not walk in the fire. Noted. Write that down. Oh, we're, it's the grilled necktail. Gotcha. Write that down, guys. Do not walk. Do not walk on, or in fire. It burns us. Yes. Very good. Will the fire crackling in the background? Yeah, dude. Yeah. All right. Cooking up more food. Let's put this in here. Put this in here. No, we'll use that as the food chest. This is the food chest. This will be the monster item chest. This will be rock chest. Very nice. Yo, Blue Eyed Skatey. Thank you for the $20 super chat. Merry Christmas, Josh, and may the new year be blessed and bright. Yo, thank you, Blue Eyed. Merry Christmas to you as well. Happy holidays. I hope you're enjoying the season, dude. Thank you so much for the generosity. That's so kind. Thank you, man. Truly appreciate it, dude. Thank you. That's nice. That's nice. Oh, that sizzle, baby. No more cookable items. Okay. So what do these do? 30 health, 10 stamina. 35 health, 12 stamina. 25 health, 8 stamina. So it looks like specifically the meat-based things are more about health than they are about stamina. So I need to figure out some stuff to do that we can uh, make to get more stamina. All right, chopping block requires 10 flint, 10 wood. That'll basically, what what this does, guys, you see that little star, and down below it says workbench improvement. It makes it so you can, uh, you can uh, make more stuff at the workbench. Same with the tanning rack. Same idea there. Thank you again, blue-eyed. So what does this do? That's 20 stamina. That's 15 stamina and 15 health. I'm going to bring the raspberries with me so we can get a little more stamina going. Very good. Now, um, I'll tell you what, guys. Let's get crazy. Well, actually, hold on. Let's sleep. It's nighttime. Let's sleep it off. only on PC. I'd love to play it. Uh, someone said earlier that it's on Xbox. Oh, what was that text? I just missed it. My bad. Uh, but yeah, I'm not sure if it is on Xbox, but someone earlier said that it is, so. Oh, they're different qualities. Oh, look at that.
Hey, what's up? You've crafted a shield. Yes. I, I already know how the shields work. Very good. Now, uh, we need to go find some deer. I guess we can go try to find uh, that little boar spot again down there and see if more boar are there. No, oh, come here. Oh. We can throw the spear, but man, is it weird. It's on Xbox next year. Gotcha. So it is coming to Xbox. It's just not there yet. I'm aware, Scarecrow. Even so, just let me figure it out all the same. If I die, I die. Oh, bitch. Gotcha. Oh, and it's going to be on Game Pass even? That's pretty cool. Shit, man. Oh. A lot of particle effects on that one right there. Where'd that deer go? Hold on. Another boar. Come here. <laughs> it's really hard to miss when they run at you like that, right? Really hard to miss. Hey, come here. Oh. Okay, so what does this say? Yeah, so this is another boar spot too. Nice, let's mark that. We got lots of boar nearby, dude. That's good. It's easy food as well as uh, leather scrap. It does appear that there's actual projectile drop too, which is interesting. What's this? Oh, a little mushroom thing. Neat. Little raspberry patch. God, there's a lot of raspberries. Let's mark that on the map as well. Raspberries, baby. What's this? It's a bird. Um. We should be able to get feathers from that. So far, I'm enjoying it quite a, quite a bit, Alex. It's a good time, man. Yeah, I know I can change the marker type as well. Mark this spot for more raspberries. I like the, the basic dots for resources. Deer right there. Very sneaky. Damn it. I'm not very sneaky at all. And that bush just blocked me, by the way. I'm having a hard time actually killing the deer. I'm never in a good position to actually get them. Oh, what's in the box? Coins, feathers, and flint head arrows. Okay. There you go. 
<laughs> Boy, the bush blocked you. Heed these words of Ulf, a poor settler in a strange land. You will find here good stone and wood. All you need is to build a house. You will need to craft a roof to finally keep out the rain. Oh, and then to keep out the rain, then you will need walls to stop the roof from falling down. Finally, you must have a door. It will be much harder to go in and out. These things Ulf has learned for himself. Now he writes them on the stone to help others. Pray to Odin for his soul. Thoughts and prayers to Ulf. Thoughts and prayers. A grayling. Come here. Okay. Very good. Raspberries again. Very nice. I need deer. Where are all the deer at? There's some shroomy boys. Guys, thank you for 200 likes on the stream. I really appreciate it. And thank you for joining me for some cozy Valheim. You can eat another bite. I'll eat a mushroom. More raspberries. I heard the barking of a deer this way. What is this little village? Hey, Eric. Kit soon. Have a good good day. I'll see you later. Thanks for coming by. more of that stuff. Okay. There's a boar there, but a deer here. Guys, we are sneaking. Are you kidding me? It went right underneath its neck. Bitch. Come here. Oh my god. I need a bow. <laughs> what is this dude? Alright, that deer is unaware. What's up, buddy love? These deer, they're so elusive. All right, we opened up that one already. Oh, you're coming back. Okay, come here. Or not. I need a bow. I think I have enough material to make one now, though, so there's that. I'm getting so many raspberries, man. Not gonna lie, the spears are kind of fun. You guys have ever played Neo 2 on live? I mean... We have Wo Long coming out in just a couple months, which is pretty similar. So that should be a quality experience for you.
I love the graphics of the game. So damn cozy. How many raspberries you need to build an outhouse? No shit, man. Or I should say yes, lots of shit, man. How many raspberries do I have? I got 45 on me. God damn. Hell yeah. yeah. Hi, Samurai. Thanks for watching that video, dude. And thanks for tuning in now. Okay. We have seven leather scraps. I need more of those, but also I need some deer skins. I'm just in need of all sorts of uh, resources. That's a boar. There's a deer. A deer. Let's get stamina back. It's a buck. My God, I only did a quarter of its health. Damn it, dude. I thought you were running at me. Come here. Come here, man. Oh my God. <laughs> Bamboozler. Buddy love, they the five dollar super chat. Dear I say, so far there are no boredom in this game. <laughs> yeah, right? Dear I say. Uh yeah. Chasing around deer like an idiot. Hey, here's a bunch of boar though. like the game treats uh deer like boar at all the the deer are much more scattered i'm assuming it's going to say the stuff about the boar again yes of course a bunch of strawberries here too or raspberries rather deer has acquired bloodhound step it certainly felt like it dude out of stamina come here okay let's make our way back to the old house thank you again buddy love We're gonna go back to the house, make ourselves a bow. Hold on. Oh, you bitch. Gotcha. A deer trophy. Guys. Guys, listen. We got one. The spear throw fears feels so delayed on them. It's crazy. Holy raspberries, dude. I can't type. <laughs> this is the new Cabela's, by the way. 
You guys remember the deer hunting games? This is the new Cabela's. Hey, bud. Got him. Oh my God, you lived. He lived. That's illegal. I hate you. <laughs> it sucks when you overthrow the spear. I can't believe it lived. Come back here. Oh. This is unfair. This is just, this is toxic, dude. <laughs> it's all the way over there. Yeah, I'm not chasing that any further. I'm leaving. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Some more deer hide. So all that deer run back over here. Are you still here? Hey, Hawk, what's up? Yeah, he's gone. Where's the drop near? Yeah, show me the drop near, please. Almost got you. Oh, that was actually pretty close. Oh, come on. This game is just teasing me at this point. Where are you going? Come here. Oh, this game is teasing me. See any trolls yet? Not in game yet. In chat, yes, absolutely. <laughs> okay, I'm leaving. Just gonna pretend like that deer does not exist anymore. Just gotta put it out of my mind. Just gotta go. I've got I've got stuff to do. Yeah, the game is cyberbullying me. Please report the game for cyberbullying. I'm really liking this stream. Hey, thanks, man. I'm glad you're enjoying your, your time here today. That's what's up. Is that deer the level boss? Yes. It may not actually be, but that's what I'm calling it. Yes. I need to make a bow. I need to make some arrows, which both are pretty easy. Hopefully I have enough to do it now. Just need to run straight west. Skaten, what's going on, man? How are you? The stutter is world safe, typically. Gotcha. I definitely foresee that stutter screwing me over in the worst time. Escape from Tarkov does the same thing, actually. Ah, home sweet home. Nice. Nice. Okay. Crude bow. I need more leather scrap. Wait, hold on. Are you kidding me? I have 13. I need more wood. Okay. I read that wrong. Please hold. I've got wood to get. Don't 
don't forget to lock the door for extra coziness. Do not fall on my house. Oh, bitch, that was close. <laughs> that was a little close for comfort, guys. Oh, shoot, my food. Did my food just burn? Please don't, don't please don't let it burn. No! <laughs> Wait, that's a good thing for me? I can now build a sign. I burnt my food. Son of a bitch. Hey, come here. Bing bong. Man, this is uh, really scaring me, scaring me here. Get some, uh, some wood. Is there season change in the game? There's different biomes, but I don't know about actual seasons. Like I know there's meadows, black forest, plains, mountains and mist lands there might be more that i don't know of at the moment you could eat another bite Hey, Michael, what's up? All right, now that we got that, let's take a nap. It's it's sleepy boy hours. Oh, so nice. So nice. Is this your first time playing? Uh, it's my first time playing without my wife. I spent a couple hours playing with wife. She kind of like taught me about the game. Let's put valuables here. Let's put our skins there. We got some extra food stuff. Whole bunch of food stuff here. My God. Where am I putting these feathers though? There. Okay, now, what else was I going to make? Uh, we have a bunch of arrows. I guess we just go kill more deer. Let me go check this out real quick, though. I highly doubt I can actually kill the boss at this moment in the game, but I want to see what it takes to summon it. Oh, yeah. Hey. Oh, hold on. There's deer here. Damn it. Are you kidding me? Okay, I killed the deer in the water. Swimming does take stamina as well, so if you run out of stamina while swimming, you die. All right, all that stuff is actually down at the bottom. Um, I don't think I'll be able to get it. I don't know if we can dive. Hey, come here. Yeah, I can't miss that one, can I? Hey, a deer trophy. You found the summoning place for one of the Forsaken. Make the correct offering at their altar and they will come. Be wary though, the Forsaken are not easy prey, so craft a wicked weapon, don your finest armor, eat a hearty meal before engaging them in combat. Okay. Hunt his kin. What does that mean? 
I see a deer there, so maybe we need to get some type of a deer material. Maybe it's these trophies. Oh, oh, it is. Oh, man, we're good at this game already. We're good at this. I need to go get another deer trophy. I have one at the house. I'm down to fight this thing right freaking now, dude. I'll probably die, but I'm down to do it. Get away from me. Right over your head. Ow. Okay. Hey, dude. Come here. Where's that other deer trophy? There it is. Oh, I just got another one too. Damn it. Didn't realize I got another one from that deer that I killed. Okay. Um, hey guys, we're going to go fight this. I'm probably going to die, but it's fine. I want to see what it's like. I want to see what it's like. Oh my God. That's scary. All right, let me get some more health, and then we'll try this out. I should probably go repair my stuff first. I'm not sure how long this is going to take. Do, 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 do. Do you plan to play up to Mistlands? If people enjoy the content, yeah. If people enjoy the streams and stuff, why not? If you want to see more, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, all that stuff. Hey, Nimrod, how you doing, man? Yeah, I know, my boy, I know. I just didn't put them away because I'm very close. All right, let's see how this goes. Oh, holy screen shake. Where is it? Eek fear. Hey, bud, how you doing? Oh. Okay. All right. Oh, that was that was painful. Ow. Come here. Good parry. Okay. Does it only get these two moves? If it only has these two moves, this won't be bad. All right. Yeah, the deer was the boss level all along, I guess. Yeah. Right? Not bad. We're doing it. Just making sure my stamina is staying as high as it can be. Hey, can you get out of the water? Um, I don't want to get wet. I need you to get out of the water, friend. Good blockage. Come over here, dude. Mm. Very good. Very good. Okay, so far we're owning. So far, so good. I think it only gets these two moves. This needs some boss music. Do you guys not hear the music? You guys don't hear the music? There is music playing. 
turn it up a little bit. Hey, checkmate. This is Valheim. Imagine if Minecraft had a baby with Elden Ring or Dark Souls. That's what this game is. It's a damn good time so far. We're fighting the game's first boss, Ekthir. I've gotten like three levels on my clubbing. Since this fight began. Come on. Yes. This ain't bad. This ain't bad. We got in a couple levels on blocking as well. Pretty tight. Okay, we're almost there. All right, one more combo should do it. You should come back over here. Give me your bullshit. Thank you. Goodbye, sir. Look at that. Okay. First boss dead. First boss down. Hard antler, antler pickaxe. Nice. Okay. GG's guys, GG's. Congratulations, warrior. Return to the sacrificial stones with your forsaken trophy and offer it as a sacrifice to make the gods smile upon you. Okay. Sounds good to me. Let's do it. Also, if we spot any deer along the way, they're gonna get they're gonna catch some arrows. This guy is too. Hey. Hey, so that was that was pretty good, guys. That was pretty good. I'm excited about that. My club is almost broken though. I'm gonna stop by my house and repair all my business. Uh, Dadu, I'm using an Electro Voice RE20. Jules, I hope you're doing great. Good to see you here. Hey, Chibanster, hello. Hope you're doing great. Uh, which one is it? Oh, that's the deer right there. His antlers are branches made... Oh my god. His antlers are branches of iron. They crack the rocks and bring down mountains. His hooves are the sound of thunder. His voice, a howling gale. Your ability to run and jump is improved. Jump stamina usage, minus 60%. Run stamina usage, minus 60%. You've been granted the power of Ekthir. Use it in times of need. Your next target dwells in the Black Forest. Go there, explore the lands, and uncover their lost treasures and resources. The Elder awaits. The Elder. I don't feel rested anymore. Damn. That was a cool boss fight, man. I'm excited about this. I, guys, I really, really like this game. This is a good time. That boss fight was pretty dope. Granted, it was pretty straightforward. Only had two moves, but I'm excited to see what else the game has on offer for us. That was really fun. Okay, antler pickaxe, 
tool hard enough to crack even the most stubborn rocks. I feel like I'm going to need this, so let's craft it. Very good. Is it possible to fight bosses again? Because it gave me these hard antlers. It gave me three hard antlers, but my concern is if I can't fight the boss again, that means I get limited numbers. It must be possible to fight them again. It must be. Yes, you can. Okay, good. I thought so. Just the way the game is positioning itself it makes sense for it too, you know? All right. Anything else that I should make before continuing on? I guess not. Maybe some more arrows? Let's put arrows right there. We get this food. Put more food on the grill. Um... I can't make a better club yet, so I'm assuming we're going to need some more new material. Maybe we'll be able to do that when we find, like, copper or something. Let's cook some food. I'd end up liking High on Life. I loved it, man. I thought it was a very good time. A little short, but still a very good game. I enjoyed it a lot. I'll figure it out, Darkness. I'm not looking for people to, like, uh, like backseat it. I want to figure stuff out naturally. If I end up asking a question, then feel free to answer it. But until then, I just like to figure it out, you know? Like, I just asked if we could uh, kill that boss again. You guys said yes. Just because I was unsure and I wanted to know in the moment. Funny and fun, yeah. I started playing the other day and did my best not to watch. <laughs> Watching it makes me want to play Minecraft, right? It does have a lot of that Minecraft vibe to it. This game is really fun. Good fight, go fight. I'm making food right now. Loving this, think I'll get it myself. Right on, Cassandra. That's awesome. This is my IRL home? Yeah, I live here. This house? Yep. We are making the foods and then we'll go do more stuff. We're going to go exploring. Uh, it said the next area I should go is the Black Forest. So I guess we got to find a Black Forest to go to. We'll go exploring. Nice, Aro. We got so much food, man. That smoke in the back? Yeah, right? This house must smell so good. Hey, what do you want? Black Forest is rich in minerals. There you can find copper in the ground and tin lining the ocean shore. Now go forth and strike the earth. Okay. Copper and tin. Copper and tin makes bronze, I believe. So we might be on the, the verge of getting some bronze items. You make a ton of mar marks on the map too. My map is all marked up. Yeah, I, I just find it better to mark it so I know where all like raspberries and boar are and stuff in case I need them. Little like and comment for the algorithm. Have a great evening, Josh. Hey, you have a great evening as well. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. All right, we're good enough on food for now. Let's uh, let's get out of here. Okay, um, let's try going. Let's go north. Looks like it's a pretty, pretty well forested area over there. So, and again, so is this. Let's go see. Do 
doo doo doo. So also, you guys see on the mini map on the top right of the screen how it says meadows? That's the, the name of the biome type that I'm currently in. So we're looking to find a black forest. Hey. What's this little structure? We've got a mini henge. Nothing going on here otherwise, though. Some more raspberries. There's a lot of raspberries here. Holy. I'm not in need of any right now. We're just going to continue on. I need black forest. Music is so relaxing, right? That's what I'm saying. More raspberries. Oh, you know what? Oh, no, never mind. I thought I saw something on my map. I saw the skull icon. I was like, wait, what's that boss? I already killed that one. That was Eek's here. This is still Meadows. Fire pants. Yes, I need fire pants. My pants were on fire earlier. My whole body was on fire, in fact. I love the graphics of this game. Look at this. This is nice. That's nice. That's a bird. It just landed. I'm sorry, friend. You must go. Wait. Damn it. <laughs> that arrow missed, dude. New playthrough to watch. Thank you for joining us, Aatrox. Just trying to follow the coastline here. I feel cold. That can't be good. The music just took a dark undertone to it, didn't it? It's all spooky and scary outside. Hey, what's up? Wait! I just parried a rock he threw at me and it staggered him. Look at that. Okay, so you can actually... You can actually parry projectiles, too. Interesting. That's useful information. Oh, what the shit? I'm assuming that's the world tree. It's got to be the world tree. Yggdrasil. These meadows are vast. What is this landscape? Can you craft a raft? Yeah, I actually got the ability to craft a raft earlier. Let me put my stuff away here. Whoa. Whoa. A 
sign over there. <gasps> oh, don't I? Hey, bud. I'm gonna go see what that's about. Oh! Go, go, go! What's up, Stan man? How's it going, bud? Give thanks to Frey for the rain and sun, for the shoots that break the earth's skin, and the fruits of the vine. Give thanks to Odin for the flesh and bone, the smoke from the cooking fire, the warm pelts, and the strength of your arm. Okay. Okay, man. Sounds good. You could eat another bite. Let's do that. Hey, Aaron. Hey, Brian, they give the $10 super chat. I just moved out of the metro and back to the country left. It feels like there was a recent exodus. However, due to the lack of people here, it's relaxing like your streams, nice and calming. It's kind of nice being alone, right? It's kind of nice, dude. I hope the move went smoothly, man. And thank you for the 10 spot. I appreciate it. Thank you very much, dude. So far, we're able to handle the combat in a big way. I think it's going to get more tricky when there's more enemies, though. I feel like right now the game is going very easy on me and not showing a whole lot of enemies at once. When I was playing on wife server, we got attacked by like six droggers at once. So I imagine it will get more difficult. There's that stutter. Man, this is still all meadows. The trees are the same. This is Valheim, yes. Tim, thank you for the five pounds. Third Elden Ring playthrough, and I finally made it down the jumping hellhole in the shining ground, so juice coins for juice. Congratulations, man. Are you talking about down to the three fingers area there? In that frenzied area, dude? Yeah, that's tough. Oh, we got some pine trees over here. Okay. Thank you, Tim. Congrats on making it down there, man. It's tough. Honestly, one of the toughest things in the entire game, if you ask me. use any particular seed no just i just went with whatever it gave me when i play a survival game like this i don't uh, like i don't really do research on seeds or anything like that i just take what the game gives me i just go all right we got some pine finally or some fur black forest Come here. Where are you going, you shit? Ow. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. Uh, we enter the Black Forest and instantly we're swarmed by Grey Dwarfs. Including a Grey Dwarf Brutes. What are you about? You look like you have a giant club. You know what? I have a solution for this. I have a bow. I feel like this brute's gonna mess me up if he hits me. I shot your toe. Where'd the brute go? How did I lose him? Ow. He's over there. Sir, I'm going to I'm going to ask you politely to come back over here and let me fight you to the death. Please don't kill me. Oh. Um that hurt a lot. My shield is not good enough to block that. 
I parried it, but it still broke me for a moment. Hey, dude. We're going to do the whole arrow thing, okay? You down? Or maybe, maybe we spear? Oh, I missed. Seventeen to the stomach. How did that not hit him? Okay, I hate you. There you go, have that. I feel like this brute doesn't really know what he wants. Well, that was a big hit, 48. Hey, brute down, bow level six. We found some dandelions. Sir, what are you doing with dandelions? What are you doing? Okay, anyway, good news, guys. We found, uh, we found the black forest. That's very good for me. However, it is quite away from home. And that was a lot of enemies at once, wasn't it? That, that, I just mentioned. Oh, God. What are you? A shaman. What do you do? What is that? What is this? Oh, you're healing? Bro, that's illegal. I don't know what that is. Oh, I'm poisoned. He poisons you. Are you kidding me? Ow. Don't smack me. Okay, what's this? Grey Dwarf. I need stamina. Bro, you heal so much. Oh, you poisoned me again. I might be dead. Maybe. Oh, 3 HP. Holy shit. Guys, I lived. I lived! Listen, I'm not going to say I'm the best at this game, but I lived, bitch. Now, where'd that shaman go? I'm a little bit scared. That shaman just up and disappeared. I don't really know what's going on there. It's just gone. Okay, so it mentioned that uh, we could find tin along the coastline. Can so you look for tin? Veins of tin. What's this? Carrot seeds. Okay, I guess we can plant carrots. Tin deposit, beautiful. Hell yeah. Tin ore times four. Hey, it's a burb. What are you? Okay, so apparently mining draws out all the gray dwarfs, including a one-star gray dwarf. Hey, I'll talk to you in a moment when I'm able to. I am being swarmed by evil little shitheads. Swing. What are you doing? Ow. Get out of there. Oh God, there's so many. Oh God. Oh God. Ouch, pain, suffering. Just go away. All right, we got one. Oh, he wouldn't let me run by him. Guys, I'm in pain. 
They're throwing rocks, man. Okay, I'm gonna die. Oh, I'm gonna die. Arrows. Why won't you die? Go away. Ow. Okay. 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 Your turn, baby. Let's go. Okay, he still hit me through the parry though, so it's a little unfortunate, but let's try again. Bitch. Yes. Eye of the tiger, baby. Found some ore. Raw ore needs to be refined in the smelter before you can work at it. Work it at the forge. You build a smelter, you will need sirtling cores. Search for them in dark places beneath the earth. Oh god. Sirtling cores. Oh god. I thought this was not earth. It said beneath the earth. Earth is used as a term for ground, for dirt. <laughs> brave Sir Juice. He bravely ran away. <laughs> Shark, think of the two euros. Smelter, I hardly know her. Damn it. Damn it, man. Shark, thank you for the two. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you. Um, that was the most pathetic jump I've ever seen in video game history. Right, there's some more tin. Now, the last time I mined some tin, I was swarmed by a bunch of gray dwarves. So, let's see how this goes. The thing is, too, is I'm gathering this tin, but I can't even do anything with it yet. I have to find a way to get oh, blueberries. Holy shit, these copper deposits are massive. I was looking for little copper things like tin. I thought this was just a rock. All right, let me try this out. Copper ore. I found two. It takes forever. We're getting stone out of the deal, too. As we found. Excuse you. Who do you think you are? Bitch, do it again. Okay. All right. So what I think needs to happen here, guys, is I need to... I need to establish another house nearby. The other house is very far away, all the way over here. Right there. I think we need to establish a house in this area. Let me mark this on my map. So we know where that copper vein is, and then we need to, we need to make a house nearby. 
I think this game comes out for Xbox next year, Pazba. Ryan, thank you for four months of membership. Josh, how did you enjoy High on Life? Happy holidays to you and yours. Hey, same to you, buddy. Happy holidays. Whatever it is you celebrate, I hope it's great. High on Life was pretty enjoyable for me, man. I liked it. I liked it a lot. What is going on here? Stool? Hey, come on out. No? Are you not interested? Ooh. There's a chest here. Ah, gold, amber, and feathers again. Okay. All right. Use this for the house. I can't make anything uh, stone related, at least not yet. You break. You do. What was inside that? Tin ore and blueberries. All right. Okay, then. The darkness, I'm going to use the weapons I want to use, man. You play the way you play, I play the way I play, okay? I've only died once, and that was specifically to a tree falling on my head, so I think I'm doing just fine so far. More gray dwarves here. You know, we could just fix that little house up right there, guys. Ouch. Oh, that missed. using the AK-47? Shit, man. You're telling me the Vikings had full-on AKs back then? Shit, man. Shit, man. My club's about to break. Oh, it's time to fist him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I am... I am encumbered. Um, what should I drop? I guess uh, some of the stone can go. Hey, what's up? You need to lighten your load. If you carry too much luggage, you will become encumbered, slowing you down and preventing you from regaining your stamina. Oh. Well, I guess that's that, isn't it? Yeah, let's just fix this little guy up real quick. It's not big. It's not much. You know, but it's something. Okay, we got that. I need a bit of a fire. There you go. We need one of these guys. Right over the fire. Very good. And now let's go back to the hammer and just repair the hell out of everything real quick. I'm out of stamina. Repairing requires stamina, guys. This place was really run down. Okay, very good. Josh, the interior designer. Yes. Yes. All right, let's see. We need a short wall. Let's see. How about this?
Put a doorway here. Be a short wall above the door. We're just going to mirror the other side here. Not sure if that'll actually do anything for us, but uh, yeah. I need more wood. Hey, uh, let go of the hammer, dude. Oh, I need a roof. All right, we're going, we're just go grab some wood. And the song this now had a small heart attack until I realized that my, my space available was not the install size. Oak. Oak is too hard. Nice, Screamer. Hope you enjoy it, man. No, Darkness, you're okay, dude. I know a lot of people like yourself just want to help, and I appreciate that. I do. I do not fault you for wanting to be helpful. I am just the type of person where I like to figure stuff out on my own. So unless I ask questions, you know, just, uh, just kind of enjoy the show, you know? Modestly having a lunch break, right? Pretty much. Oh, you got hit by the tree. How's that feel, dummy? What is that growling? You. Bitch. Oh, you know what? We need food. Your bat is weak. Nimrod, you're weak. You leave my club out of this. I am weak for seeing bad clubs. <laughs> Shit, you got me, man. Fur, can I chop that down? I can. Come on down, dude. Very good. Getting Elden Ring for Christmas? Very nice. Very good game, dude. Choppy, choppy, chop. Yes, leave a big like on the stream if you're enjoying your time here, guys. Make sure you subscribe to the channel as well. I do play a lot of different games, and I uh, enjoy sharing the experience live on stream. So thank you for joining me. Do I stream on Facebook? No. I only stream here on YouTube. I am on fire. Okay, we might need to move that fire away from the door. That's <laughs> I'm not really interested in walking to the house and being set ablaze. Not a fan. That does not feel very good. Um Okay. I'm on fire again. Son of a bitch, dude. I'm in pain. Ah, oh, man. That's, that's weird, right? That's a little weird. 
That's also weird. Man, I'm not really liking how this is turning out. But you know what? I think if it lets me use the uh, the thing in here, then that's sufficient for me. Nope, needs a roof. Son of a bitch. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what, buddy. We'll do this. We got to leave a little bit of a hole there for the uh, the fire. Uh, it's still getting kind of smoky in here, but. Nice. Nice. Need flooring. You know what? We're going to leave the fire there. If I get caught on fire, guys, it's my own damn fault, okay? It's my own damn fault if I die to fire. It's fine. Uh, let's do a little bit of that. And then I need to make a chest or a bed or something. Furniture. Bed. Sleepy time. Shark bit. Think of the two euros. Says, honey, I'm home. Rah! Yeah, dude. Walking into your house and instantly being set on fire is not great. It's not great. All right. So it's a little smoky in here, but you know what? We're not taking damage or anything, so it's fine. Uh, also, I forgot that I left the meat over the fire overnight. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Okay, so it's a little bit, it's a little bit, uh, burnt. It's fine. I need more wood for that, son of a bitch. Okay, let's put this stuff away. Non-important things get put away, or I guess more important things. Um, let's just throw the rocks over there for now. What I need to do now is I need to go find certling cores before I can worry about ever doing anything with the metal. So, um, I'm assuming that we're going to find some way to get underground in the black forest because it just kind of makes sense. If you're, if you're getting to the point where you can make metal things, then you should be able to find the certling cores here in the black forest too. What is this? Honey, queen bee, and a beehive. Okay. Vegvasir the Elder. Oh, it just gave me the location of the next boss. Nice. The Elder. Oh, you! Jerk. Lord of the Fallen look, looks great. It does. I'm looking forward to the release of that game. Oh, I'm really poorly timing this. Gray Dwarf Trophy. Okay, so what I need to do now is I need to head back to the house. I want to put this honey and this bee away because I'm not sure. It looks like it gave me a beehive too. Or no, it taught me how to make a beehive. So I want to make sure that we're able to maintain that. So we need 10 wood for another chest. We've already got it. Let's go put this in another chest. We'll deal with that later. A palace for the bees. Yes. Yes. Oh, 35 stamina out of the honey. Oh my God. Don't get caught on fire. Thank you. 
Anyways, back into the forest. You trying to craft heavy armor yet? Um, no. <laughs> I haven't made it to a point where I can make anything metal related just yet. That was a kind of a cool little find. Showing me where the elder is. Is this the tower I found earlier? It is. It's hard for me to, it's going to be difficult for me to be able to differentiate what, uh, what, what things like this are copper and then just regular stone. I think the collar had some like yeah the copper has these lines going through it this is copper here this is the copper i found earlier so we need to make sure if we see those lines we mark it on the map this is another one very good the forsaken power yet no um i'm using it or i'm holding on to it for a moment where i may need to like sprint away <gasps> that's that's a troll um this is one of those moments where it might make sense to use it i'm just gonna run this way for now and hope that i lose it i want nothing to do with that guy my dude was huge so yeah literally speaking of sprinting away More copper here. Shit, man. There he is. He's all the way over there. <laughs> that was a big boy. How much stamina does this give? 25? Blueberries are kind of nice. More copper. The game is giving me a lot of copper nearby, which is great. But I need to find like a, a way underground, like a cave or something. So that's what I'm on the lookout for right now. Have them smack the ore nodes, no doubt. Yeah another troll let's not go that way all right so it looks like trolls reside in the black forest what's this let's see what's over here those are skeletons hey and you hurt They're dropping a lot of bone fragments for me. Treasures lie below. Delves and dungeons can be found across the 10th world. They are monuments of the past and most often filled with the riches of civilizations long lost. Remember to bring a light source. Oh. Okay, thanks. Let's go inside and see what's up. Burial chambers. That's a two-star skeleton right there. I'm scared. Come over here. Yes, one at a time. Oh, very good. Come on up. You got this. What are you... Brother, I'm right here. Hey. Hey, how you doing? Oh my God, that hurt a lot. I'm in pain. 
Okay, that that's a uh, skeleton is an archer. And I think it can kill me in two hits. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'll tell you what, guys, we're going to try to kill it. I'm just going to wait for my health to regenerate. We're going to charge in there like a mad lad, and we're going to murder the guy. We're going to murder him so hard he dies to death. Are you ready? Let's wait for the health to keep going up. That's anything like a four-star hotel, then dive in. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah, you like my hairstyle? Very good. Very good. Yeah, it's dark and scary in there, man. All right. This is as good as it's going to get. Wish me luck, gamers. Okay. <gasps> no, so many skellies. Oh. Well, <laughs> I got out with two health, man. Did you see the bird? All right, hold on. Need some rocks so I can make a campfire. That one doesn't break. Damn it. Come on. Come on. It's just rock. Thank you. Oh. The fire. Very good. Very good. Man, if you if you mine anything in this forest, they just they they sound you out. They charge you. They do not like you breaking down the forest at all. All right, let's go back inside. We're full health. Let's see what happens here. You moved your position, you little bitch. All right, hold on. Dude, that skeleton is gonna die. Guys, I'm telling you, that skeleton will be dead. Do, 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 do. Put the fire in the entrance? Yeah, maybe I can get them to run into the fire. <laughs> Love the stream. Yo, thank you, Bin Bin. Thank you. All right, one more health tick. The archer's on the left side now, guys. Keep that in mind. All right, let's do this. rock Ooh. okay yeah I can't really get a, too many hits in on this guy he has so much health 
Hey, Jay Lee, what's up? Hey, Cronus, welcome back. Well, the Ether, Ether power. So that just makes it so my stamina isn't used as much when running and jumping. It reduces the actual consumption of it by 60%. That's not really going to help me in this situation. Realistically, I should probably just try to find a different cave. Let me mark this. I'm going to try. I'm, I'm going I'm to keep trying, though. I'm going to keep trying. Surprised you have one copper and tin farming. I already have, but I can't actually do anything with it until I get certling cores, which I believe we can find in these caves. Yes, walk closer. Yes. Oh, we are cheesy, bud. Thwack, thwack. Thwack, 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 dead, bitch. We are cheesy, baby. Very good. What are these yellow mushrooms about? 30 stamina, 10 health. That's another skeleton. Hey, you seem to have one star above your uh, above your head there, bud. How about that? You gonna chase me? You're just gonna stand there, or I guess we're just gonna let my health go back up. In fact, uh, I'm gonna go outside, let my health continue to go back up, then we'll go back inside and fight some more. Can you play this at different difficulty levels? I can't remember having two star skeletons this early in the game. Um, I don't think so, Marika. I didn't see any difficulty s sliders or options anywhere. Mord, I am having a great time, dude. Great to see you. Honestly, this game, this game is a sleeper. If you haven't played this, guys, if you're into survival games, this game is so damn good. It's so damn good. X to sit. Does this help our health go up even faster? Oh yeah, look at that. Big chunk. Yeah. Solid house. Oh, this isn't a house. This is a, this is a cave with a bunch of skeletons in it. They hurt a lot. They do big damage. this door here. Hey, skeleton guy. Sirtling core. Nice. Now we can make smelters and charcoal kilns. Very good. Very good. Though I'm not sure how many it actually requires. Why are there so many higher level skeletons here? Ow. All right, too many skeletons at once. I'm leaving. My poor club. You've taken their shit, their piss now? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Josh playing my current favorite game. Amazing. Are you new to Valheim? Pick up everything. Yeah, I'm very new to it. I just started today. All right, let's go in again.
Oh, you. You're a sneaky man. It's crazy. Even when you get a successful parry, uh, there's still some damage that comes through. a dead end man i mean i guess we can take the mushrooms right it's not a complete loss take it easy darkness all right bit of a dead end the claustrophobia in here is pretty real huh Another dead ends. All right, did I? Yeah, I already went to the dead end over here. There was a core right there, right? One of those certling cores. Certling, certling, however you say it. Oh, hey, dude. <gasps> Ouch. In. Okay, they uh, they hurt a lot. I'm leaving. Get a torch. I do have one, but I'm using a shield. My club's about to break, though. It's okay. We can finish off this whole area with maybe the spear. Though, generally speaking, in a lot of games, skeletons are only weak to blunt damage. So the spear might not do so hot. We'll see how it goes. Matt, think of the $2 super chat. The first successful Viking siege. Skeletons BTFO. <laughs> Matt, thank you for the two, dude. I appreciate it very much. Thank you so much, dude. Yeah, we got a two star and now we have two one stars. They really don't want me to get in there. Spear goes between ribs, zero damage. That's what I'm concerned about. Oh, sneaky man. Okay, that's one. Your turn, baby. All right, my club broke. Oh! Okay, that, that went okay. It went all right. We're in here. What is that, though? something in the back shooting me. It's another skeleton back there. I gotta go. I'm losing health. Now, thing looks like it's actually spawning them. Hey, Josh Horton, thanks for joining me, man. Yeah, you can play with friends. I think you have 10 people in a single server. Okay, I'm gonna run back to the house real quick so I can repair this club. I will get in there. I will kill them. I think there was a spawn point back there, guys. That skeleton just manifested right in front of me. Don't worry. We're not far from home. Oh, you guys, look at this. Look, it, it's storming. Ooh, lightning. Ooh. This game's got the vibes. All right, let's um drop stuff off. Is 
Sleepy time. Dream of a river running uphill of green shoots turning downward into the earth. Oh, yeah? Look at that. Storm's over just as I wake up. Very good. All right, back to this cave. What's up, Majin Kai? How you doing tonight, man? You always sleep with your spear? Hey, man, you can never be too safe. All right, we're back. All right, here we go again. can't even reach me. Oh my god. Ouch. Evil bone pile. I killed it. Here's another one star skeleton though. Oh dude, that hurts so much. Oh, pain. Die. Oh, I lived. Oh. Holy cores, man. One, two, three. <gasps> no. Go away. Four, five. Some rubies, amber pearls. What's this? Some coins. Amber pearl times two. We did it. We got in there. We got in there. Hey, I'm feeling pretty good about that. I think this is where the other skeleton came from, though. Another spawner? Okay, that one's dead. Skeleton trophy. Smash! Another oh my! Another spawner. This this is crazy. Get parried, idiot! I just parried your arrow. done two spawners in a single room is that normal how many did you get i've got five cores on me and i got one at the house so we got a total of six now still hearing some very evil noises though i feel like we're not done here This is where we got all those cores right there. We killed off the two spawners in this room. That's a dead end. This is the main entrance. That's where we found our first core. Some rubies, some pearls. I think we cleared it. Yeah, this is where we went up, and this is the other side. Run level 20. Yeah, we cleared this whole cave. We're good. Cave is conquered. Yep, very nice. We're clear. So it looks like the evil noises are just kind of the ambient, ambient noises of this cave.
All right. GG, guys. GG. Our first cave is complete. Uh, let me put an X on that so I know it's clear. Back to the old humble abode. Is it possible to change loyalty badges? I'm not sure what you mean, Divinus. Or Divinus? I'm not sure. Alright, let me see what it takes to make... Oh, I'm on fire. Oh god, I'm burning. Okay, we're good. Let me see what it takes to make these things. Charcoal kiln and smelter. They both require five each. 20 stone, five cores, and a workbench. So I need a total of 10. I've only got six. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time. It is time to go find more. More dungeons. I really should expand this house because I'm already out of room. Damn it. Let me try something cheeky. Need more wood. Fire! said your name perfect the first time to venus you got it dude you got it oh i am hitting it with a club Why am I not wearing clothes? That is a great question. Why did my clothes get taken off there? I didn't die. Why are my clothes taken off, guys? Someone please tell me why I'm naked. Tell me why. <laughs> that house is a death trap. <laughs> it really is, dude. It really is. Hey, excuse you. Who do you think you are? Guys, I'm just trying to chop down the tree. You know what? Let's do this. If it lands on you, that just means you suck. Oh, you got no one. I'm sad. Okay. Back to chopping this log. Hey, Ian. When you repair, you have to equip. Oh, so when you repair, it takes it off of you. Noted. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Club level's getting real strength build, right? Look at all my wood. Phrasing. Not getting past the loading screen of a new game in Valheim? I'm so sad. Um, as in, like, it's freezing on you or something, Greybeard? I don't know. No fire, please. Don't set me on fire. Ah, look at that. It does work. I saw my wife doing this, and so I figured I would try it out. Look at that.
Just look at it, dude. Actually, hold on. Yes, very good. Okay, now. Now, the good news is we cleared out our inventory. The bad news is we got to go find ourselves another dungeon, another cave to go inside of. I got to go crawl in a cave, a hole in the ground. I need more of those, uh, more of those certling cores. We have six. I need a total of 10 to get started with smelting. And once I can start smelting stuff, I'll be able to make, I'm assuming it wants me to make bronze. Because it's got tin and copper here. You know where I learned that, guys? You want to know where I learned that? RuneScape. I learned that in good old RuneScape. Old school RuneScape at that. Oh, wrong one. What the hell is broom skates? No idea. Never heard of it before. Oh, there's that world save again. More copper here. And a whole bunch of gray dwarves over there. Hey, how you doing? Ouch. Oh! Where's my health? Shit, man. Oh, God, I'm going to die. Hey, you're all jerks. You know that? That missed. Oh, my God. Wrong target, but uh, you know what? It works. It's fine. Come here. I'm out of stamina. Son of a bitch. Okay. I'm ready for you now. worth it these things actively try to outflank you you guys see the way they move and they try to actually outflank you that's crazy they intentionally try to get to your sides and your back there's a troll right there Look how big he is Not touching anything while loading work that plays now. Yeah, so it took me a long time to load in the first time I did as well, so I think that might have been it. Can you stop hitting me? I'm just trying to live, brother. Some flints. Money, feathers, and amber. Very good. More copper. Oh, I've already got that marked. Never mind. I very specifically need to find another cave, guys. That's what we're trying to do right now. Another cave. A dungeon. Soon to be your new bedroom. go boop him on the head something tells me just by looking at the size of the guy that he'll kill me so i'm good this looks like another cave right here yep sure is love when they stack up man
Uh, wrong button. This one, this one, this one here. Mark that cave on the map. Let's go inside and party. You ready? Matt, thank you for the $2 super chat. Please sing more. I want it that way. Valheim edition. I'll try to think of the words, man. Tell me why. Oh, sneaky man. Level 27 clubs, baby. Let's go. There's a spawner in that room. I can see it. got a core a couple cores here we got some coins and then what is this Vegvasir the elder so it looks like you can find a whole bunch of these things that'll point you to uh, a boss location that's very cool hello oh my skeletons Very good. That wasn't bad. Hello? A chest. A core. We like that. Plus one. What's in the box? I am almost out of inventory space. Here, have a rock. Passed on Dwayne the Rock Johnson to that chest. It's fine. It's me, Chipset. I'm glad your YouTube blew up. You're doing great things, man. Yo, it's good to see you, Chipset. Thanks for tuning in, man. Hope you've been great, buddy. Good to see you. Matt, thank you again for the $2 super chat as well. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Uh, we've got three cores on us. Chipset noob. Yeah, man. Up. We now officially have enough cores to make these things work for us. Let's finish up the dungeon. And the dungeon's finished. Okay. So it looks like that first dungeon I stumbled upon was just... Unluckily difficult for me. I had a total of, what? Uh, three, four spawners inside of it? Pretty unlucky timing for me. We're not timing, but uh, location, I guess. My God, guys! You see how good at running I'm at? I'm I am now. Thistle, you guys see how good I am at running? I'm so good. It's 21 now. Oh my God! I wanna be. The very best. Like no one ever was. To run along is my real quest. To marathon is my cause. I have traveled far and wide. Running down the road. That's all I got. All right, let's head back to our humble abode, ladies and gentlemen. We've got official smelting business to do. What's up, Daz? Valheim looking good here? Yeah, dude, it's a good time. This game is a real vibe. Hey, Psycho, what's up, man? Question, once you clear a crypt, can you make it your home? I have no idea, Julius. Um, if I had to guess, probably not, but maybe the game has a surprise for me. I don't know. 
You were worried we wouldn't enjoy Valheim? Hey, I'm always worried that, you know, people might not enjoy the games that I enjoy because I, I enjoy a pretty wide variety. But it's actually been going pretty well today. We hit 400 likes. That's pretty impressive, guys. Seriously, thank you for tuning into my stream. Okay, now here's the deal. Give me those cores. Uh, we're going to put these in here. I need more rocks. I need a lot more rocks. Doo doo. Um, put that there. Where did I put the tin? Oh, right there. There it is. Got that there. There we go. Nice. Doo 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 doo. Okay. Put that away. Put that away. We need a total of what? 40 rock? We've got 20 on us. Let's go get more rocks. I'm on fire. Stop, drop, and roll. <laughs> Dude, I'm on fire, and the game goes, You feel cold. And you know why I feel cold? My nerve endings are literally burned, man. You feel cold. Hey, man, can I wake you up? Go back to mining your damn self, buddy. The entire body of flame, a little bit chilly. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we've got enough rocks. All right, so. So what we're going to do, you feel cold. Charcoal kiln and smelter. I need to be close to a workbench. Um, let's start with this. I'm assuming this is going to help us make the charcoal to fuel the smelter. I need more even ground for it, though. Oh, my God. Then the smelter right next to it, maybe. Very good. What the bird? You scared the shit out of me, man. I bring tidings. You also bring jump scares. You have built a smelter. Deposit your raw ore in this furnace and it'll melt away all the impurities, leaving you with a bar of refined metal to work at the forge. You will need coal to fuel the smelter. This can be produced by building a kiln and loading it with wood. Yeah, I'll load something with wood. You damn idiot. Go away, Hugin. Hugin. Give me my wood. Put away the rocks. Give me... Where's the metal? You cannot kill the metal. <laughs> Screamer, nice dude. <laughs> Glad you got it. All right, let's, let's load this bad boy up with wood. Um, Smelter coal. I don't have any coal yet. Added copper ore. Added tin ore. It's full. Okay. <gasps> we have coal. We have lit it up, baby. Guys, we have smelting business. We are officially... We are officially smelting. Ow. Oh. When I said smelting, I didn't mean my own damn skin. Please, you feel cold. Yeah, ironic. Rags the Rioter, what's up, man? Late, but I made it. It's good to have you here, man. Hope you're doing great today. Copper, new build piece, forge. Oh, baby. Oh, baby.
Man. It took us a long time to get this smelting business going, but we're here, dude. We're here. We, we've made it. I should probably go gather more wood. I need wood. It's pretty much every time he goes in and out of the house. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. Oh my God. Oh, it, it appears I have awoken the forest and also balanced a tree on another tree. What the shit, man? Okay, that's painful. Oh my god! What is this? I'm poisoned. I'm being chased by a million things, including a one-star gray dwarf, a brute, and a shaman. What is a man supposed to do in this situation besides panic? Oh my god, dude. How many arrows do I have? 18? That's not good. I'm poisoned. You son of a bitch. to kill the shaman first. Bitch! Alright, we got him. That'll make my life a little bit easier. Um, I've got eight arrows left. Oh my god, I hate you. Hey, good. The, the brute ran away. Good stuff. That actually helps out a lot. Thank you, sir. Uh, let me do something special here. Let's set you ablaze. There you go. Yeah. Hey, you like that? You like fire? Huh? Come here, you little shit. Ow, that hurt a lot, dude. Come here. Hey, have this one. Oh, you're on fire now. Everyone's on fire. My health regen is non-existent right now because I'm cold. It's a little cold out here. I'm freezing. Come here. Come here. Boom. Okay. So listen, that was a pretty bad situation, but luckily the brute ran away for some unknown reason. We'll just we'll just take that victory, okay? We'll just take that victory. You have a burnt <laughs> a burnt in immunity? Yeah. A burnt in immunity. I like it. Oh God, what are you doing here? Go away. Come on, man. I just want to, I just want to break the trees down. Jen, have a good night. I'll see you later. What is this? You. Man, you can't do anything at night. And I need to leave. I need to get so much wood. The brood is back. The shaman is here. Oh my god, right between your legs. There's another shaman! Alright.
You are you are not great dwarves. Where did they go? Okay, I guess they're just they're just gone. Whatever. I don't know what happened. I guess they ran away. I don't know. Everything's fine. Look at that. We got some tin going. Can I chop down these damn trees now? Is that, a, is that an option today or? The night crew clocked out, yeah. Please don't fall on my head. So far, so good, though, guys. The only time I've actually died is when a tree fell on me. So we've got that going on for us. Every time you chop a thousand goblins, start going crazy. It certainly feels that way. Stamina. Okay. Very good. I need so much wood for so many different things. I need to make more arrows. I need to make more charcoal. I need to find out uh, how much material we're actually going to need to make, uh, you know, bronze equipment as well that's gonna be uh that's gonna be busy that's gonna be a lot we chop down one more tree and we'll go back Give me the wood, thank you. Fir cone, Yule tree, huh? Oh, my inventory is about full. I am definitely gonna need to spend some time actually expanding the size of the house too. Start that back up. Okay, let's, um, what was I going to do? Need to make arrows. Knock, knock, knock. Alright, that should be sufficient arrow action for a while. Put that away. That. That one. Those ones, those ones, those ones. Everything's good. What are these? Buke parries allows the consumer to quickly evacuate any misplaced meal or and start anew. Oh. It literally makes you throw up. Huh. <laughs> I didn't know that was going to be a thing I needed to do. Okay, um... I think from here we go get more copper and tin. But first, I need to pee. I'm going to go do that real fast, guys. I'll be back in just a minute. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and leave a like on the video. I'll be right back.
All right, we are back. Let's go get some... Hold on, I just thought. I need to make a forge first and foremost, which can't really do in here right now. There's not enough space. Requires stone, coal, wood, and six copper. All right, we're, we don't even have enough copper to do that yet, so we'll, uh, we'll work on that. Why is my cat crawling on me like I'm a tree? What are you doing, man? Oh. You're not exactly small, Dobby. That hurts. <laughs> you weirdo. Everyone say hi to Dobby. He wants his present known. Presence are, is known. Acknowledged. Hey, Urban. We got some copper straight ahead of us here. All right, time to mine. It's time to mine. Can't help but feel that uh, something is going to come out of the woodworks here and attack me. Nice cozy fireplace. Hell yeah, Storm. No matter what goes on in life, you gotta stay cozy. Yep, here comes the monsters. Come here. I can't see. There's so many trees in the area. What do you want? Come here. Get out of the tree, man. Come here. Shithead. Very good. Very nice. Okay, that was just a small wave of them. Jersey Bob, keep the weirdness out of chat, please. Thank you. We're here talking and playing Valheim, not socio-political stuff, you know? Sorry, you're all good, man. RDR2 or God of War 2018. I don't know. I'm not very big on uh, Red Dead. I would play God of War over Red Dead all day long. Hey, Crashy, how you doing, man? We are getting so much copper. Though, I will say that uh, I'm almost full up on inventory already. It's cool how it divides up the actual damage you're doing th to this um, between multiple targets if you line it up that way. It's kind of neat. We got 10 of these. We got 40 stone as well. 
Oh, my pickaxe is broken. All right. Well, back to the old humble abode again. Let's go. I run real fast. Hey, thank you, Polo. Are you going to be posting Valheim vids? Um, my streams will become videos and if people do enjoy the game enough, then I could do some like video content around it as well. Like maybe my own type of guides and whatnot is based on how I tackle the game. Maybe if that's something people would like to see. I'm still learning the game myself though. So it'll be a while before I get to that point. Okay. Put the stone away. Those away. Those away. Right now, I'm just gathering a whole bunch of uh, copper and tin. And then I think um, I need to expand the house so that way I can have more stuff under the roof. First time here. Is this your first playthrough? Yes. First playthrough ever. Thanks for joining us, Rick as well as Polo. Is that thing still chasing me? It is. Stop it. Go away. Ooh. That stutter is definitely going to get me killed. Smelting seems to take a while. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty time consuming. Nice, Rick. That's cool, man. If I do have any questions, I won't be afraid to ask people in chat. Hey, come here. Ouch. Come here. Swing again, dude. Are you saying you want some gatherers in your world? No, no. I'm definitely fine to solo the game. Totally cool with it. Stamina. Yeah, the stutters are the, uh, the world safe. Yep. The game says you are wet. Thanks for noticing, I guess. All right. Yeah, I just haven't gotten to that point yet, Nick. Uh, I'm, I've not been able to make a cart. I haven't even made a forge yet. I just got enough copper a moment ago to be able to do so. filling up my inventory now i'll go back and then i think i'm gonna start uh, situating all that i gotta expand the house and uh go from there smash Oh, they go underground too? That's cool. Almost full up. All right, I don't think this is going to be able to break anymore with the amount of uh, health it has left. So let's run back to the house. How much wood do I have? We've got three wood. I'm going to deposit stuff. Then I need to gather a whole bunch of wood so I can expand the house. Just 
just watched your game award stream way you were excited about the trailer for armored core and made me curious about the game oh Raphael, dude oh armored core is one of my favorite franchises ever 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 I'm a big fan really excited about what's uh what that game might have in store for us the first time i played armored core was back on a playstation one demo disc way back in the day so i'm very very excited for the full release all right let's put this there put the rocks there very good Okay, time to gather some wood. Something I will say is uh, Armored Core doesn't play anything like uh, any of other any other From Software game stuff. So if you're going in expecting a Souls-like game, you're going to be sorely disappointed because that's not what Armored Core is. Armored Core is a game where you play as a mech. You're a mercenary that has your own mech. You work for, well, in the previous ones, you work for a, uh, a mercenary group called the Raven, uh, the Raven's Nest. I can't remember. It might be the Raven's Nest. I can't remember exactly. Raven something. And basically you do these jobs for corporations that are literally at war with one another. And basically you just go on these uh, missions or in the game they call them sorties to get in there do your objective and sometimes they have bonus objectives and then you get out you go in with a certain amount of limited ammo and stuff like that as well so you have to make sure that you complete it with with what resources you go in with the combat is exhilarating yeah the fire trap is out What kind of channel is this? I show up and Josh is talking about his wood. <laughs> What's up, Nas? Oh boy. Hey man, listen. I'm just trying to I'm just trying to get some wood, you know? Just trying to get some wood. I'm out here swinging my axe at tree stumps and shit. Let's wait for stamina to come back. You see how slow the stamina is? The regen is when you're when you're wet. Oof. Think Gundam style mech fights? Yes. Not quite as anime, but yes. Oh, that's cool, Dahlia. Very cool. Right arm's getting bigger while you work on wood. I understand perfectly. <laughs> God damn it. The phrasing today is unstoppable. Truth. Truth, truth, truth. I'm very excited for Armored Core, man. I will absolutely be playing that game on stream when it comes out. Well, at least it stopped raining so we can actually get stamina regen going better. That's nice. Now let's keep going until the ax is actually broken. Something that does make me happy is even when something quote unquote breaks, you can still repair it. That's something I do enjoy quite a bit. The gray dwarfs, they are coming. I was hoping it would fall towards them. Stamina. The rain stopped and then it started again. I'm very upset. Ok, 
curious to see how it'll look after so many years from software has improved so much yeah that was that was the the thing that i immediately discussed after the announcement uh armored core 5 or the most recent armored core came out over 11 years ago and it was not great it was definitely the weakest uh, entry to the entire franchise however since that time they have released a large amount of other games that have been game of the year quality everything from bloodborne to dark souls 2 and 3 elden ring sekiro all those games came out after the most recent armored core so that makes me pretty damn excited for uh the future of the franchise here you get valheim but you're broke it is on pc game pass if you have that that's an option for you already if you have it that is Neo, Neo is not from software. Neo is Team Ninja. Very different studio. Ooh, that's that little bit of lag there. All right, it's time to break these walls down. Oh no, my home, my home. All right, uh, if I break this, is the whole thing going to collapse? I hope not. No? Very good. Look at that, guys. All right, let's see. Let's do this. We need... We need... Flooring. Oh, you know what I should do first, actually? I should make myself a crafting station needs a roof. Son of a bitch. Let's say I should make myself a hoe. So I have that going, but it's fine. It's whatever. Let me just get these rocks out of the way. Very good. This here, and then... Very good. Break down those walls. Uh, let me think. Maybe I can temporarily put up a wall here. Invalid placement. What do you mean? Come on. It's a little finicky. Okay, now. Let me actually use the damn thing. Thank you. Very good. Um, I need to make a hoe. Thank you. Thank you. Um, eights. Oh, uh, shit. Okay, very good. We must level the ground. I'm out of stamina. Oh my god. This hoe goes crazy. Matt, think of the $2 super chest is why to Jushiko break the walls down. <laughs> I was thinking more about, like, the wall of Berlin. Break down those walls, Mr. Gorbachev. But you know what? I am happy with that, too. I am happy with the Jericho reference. 
<laughs> Thank you very much, Matt. Let's just hoe the ground up here. Um. Yes, very good. Why will it not break down anymore? Am I doing it? Stamina. All right, let me just pickaxe this bad boy. I need space. I need expansion room, guys. See, in this moment, in this moment, like this is this is what my wife likes to do more. I like to go out and like kill monsters and explore. My wife likes to build. So whenever we play survival games together, she usually takes care of building the structures and whatnot. I just go out and gather the resources and kill all the shit. Careful, you don't want perfect level like Rick and Morty or your entire world to be on tilts. Oh shoot, that was too deep. Too deep, man. Raise the ground here. Upsie daisies. Nice. Nice, dude. Hey, this ain't bad. Let's see. Oh, shit. Did I actually break one of these chests? I did. <laughs> Whoopsie. And that's why I have so much shit on me. Whoops. fine everything's fine um hmm you guys think that's enough space i should probably go out a little more shouldn't i like forward you gotta get this rock out of the way though Yo, caving in Minecraft, they just steal a villager house as a home? Yeah, man, I mean, that's the way. That's the way, dude. Break down those walls, Mr. Gorbachev. Or take down those walls, whatever he said. Whatever the dude said. You guys know the guy? You know the guy, right? You guys know the guy. I might have gone too deep. Now nah, we're good. Okay. World save in 30 seconds. Reagan smash. I can't get this dirt to go away. Let me try a little bit of this then. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, I think this is uh this is a good expansion. This is fine. This is glorious, guys. It's fine. We're good. Uh, let me break that wall, break that wall, break that, break that. Screw all of that. We don't need it. Um, yeah. 
Why does that not match? Hello? Hold on. I don't like that. Oh! Well, I broke that too. It's fine. Ah, oh, it's because of this beam. Because of the beam. Look at that. Yeah, we got space. I got a little overzealous and breaking the walls down. I was too busy singing Jericho's theme song in my mind. And so we broke the wall down. Um, yeah, a little damning. Okay. I'm glad we gathered all the wood that we did. I'm happy about that. Oh my god. World save. What do you guys think? That's a lot of space, right? We just like quadrupled the space. Very good. Yes? You think? A little spacious in here. Um, but listen. This stuff here needs to go away for now. I'm sorry. It's got to go. I don't make the rules. Actually, I do. Ah. I don't like any of this. Get out of here. Uh, let's see. That can break. Thank you. Okay. Um... We need the little half wall things. Or. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Uh, we need a door here. The door is still fine to be here. We like that. We like that a lot. That's good. Look at this, a door. Nice. And now let's open the door that way. I need to repair my hammer. My hammer. <gasps> my hammer. I need a roof. Shit men. Shit men. Uh, so is there just a way to move something? Nope, we just gotta break it. It's fine. Everything's good. Everything's okay. I'm not panicking, you're panicking. right there. That's a good dealio. Um, the issue here is I cannot, I cannot use the workbench. So, um, let's make another hammer. It's fine. Everyone needs a secondary hammer, right? You keep one hammer, one hammer in your hand and one on your belt, guys. You know, like it's easy. Yeah. Worst case you make another, uh, you, you make another, uh, hammer. It's fine. Easy. All right, problem solved. Almost out of wood, though. We're almost out of wood. So, um, hmm. Yes. I need more coal for the forge. But I broke the damn thing that makes the coal because I'm dumb. Do I have enough coal anyway? I do. Beautiful. Beautiful. Juice needs more wood. That's the damn truth. All right, I need six copper on me. How do I not have six copper on me? Hello? I'm carrying too much. Oh my god. Forge. We can make bronze, knives, sconces, cauldrons. Oh my goodness. We can make things, guys. Isn't that sick? Isn't that so cool? 
Okay, um, now. About the fire. We need a fire in this place. Put it right here in this corner and I'll just build like a little open spot on the roof right there. Looks good to me. Looks good and feels good to me. We got that there and then we can do... I need more wood. Son of a... Um... Shit, man. Here, I'll tell you what. We'll just drop these rocks here for now. We need to go get some more wood real quick. This game's giving you arc vibes. It is a survival game, so it makes sense. so much wood right now. Oh my god. Boing, boing, boing. Got some of those neck things over there growling at me. Shark. Shark. Thank you, the five gifted members to the community, man. I really appreciate that. Thank you, dude. You guys have been incredibly supportive of a stream that is far away from what we usually do for things like Elden Ring and other adventure games. Thank you guys for tuning in for a survival game. I'm looking forward to playing more of this on stream with you guys. Thank you so much, man. Let's see those cult emos for all the new non-cult members. Thank you, Shark. Oh, I'm full up. Shoot. Inventory space is lacking. Come here. Why are you running away from me? You shit. I'll be streaming during the holidays? Yes. I am, um... I'm not like a big celebrator of the holiday season or anything like that. I don't live near any family. I don't, uh, I'm not like hyper religious or anything like that. So, okay. So right here's where we're going to build our chests. Let me just do that. God, you can put them inside one another. Oh already out it's good though because now we can just put stuff away we have a lot more inventory space very good very nice okay let's see i should probably put up that uh, smelter again of all that let me do this break you take all that good stuff and put you right next to this guy you guys can be best buds chilling right here look at that how much wood do i have i have one wood now all right, the good news is, is we made ourselves some space. We can now go get more wood. Let me repair my stuff first though. I'm looking for someone who streams survival games and YouTube just recommended you. Nice dude. I play all sorts of stuff on my channel, um, but I really, really enjoy survival stuff. So I'm glad that you found us. Thanks for joining. 
What's my favorite food? Dude, I am I am your very, very basic. Uh, I just like pizza and burgers and pie and your mom and, you know, other basic things that people enjoy. I do try to eat healthier most of the time, though. Love my house now? Thanks, man. Thanks, Matt. Shark, thank you again for the five gifted members, dude. All right. Full on deforestation. What do you think of V Rising? I I've watched gameplay of it, but I've never played it myself. So from I will say from a watching perspective, it seems all right. There's another world save. Oh, that hurt me. I was hitting the stump this whole time. Son of a bitch. But yeah, I haven't actually played it, so I can't speak too much on it. do enjoy the domino effects. We are enjoyers of that. Very good. Play V Rising is fun for a while. The powers and castle buildings are cool, but you run out of things to do pretty quickly. Oh, really? Is it short lived? I guess one of the big reasons people play survival games is generally like the length of time you can invest in them, right? It's almost like playing a smaller MMO, but you're more crafty as well. So I can see that. Stamina. Oh, Jesus, don't kill me again. Oh, my God. Oh. Man, guys, I've only died once in this game. I've only died once in this game, and it was two tree. It was to the trees. It almost happened again. Jesus. Look at all that wood. Hey, thanks for noticing. Very nice. Stamina, stamina, stamina. We are full up on wood. Oh my god, guys. I have so much wood. I got I got so much wood right now. Spectacular. We've gone zero days without tree deaths. Shit, man. Let me just fill this bad boy up. There you go. There you go, dude. All right, next thing is more chests. Where the hell is it? Furniture. I'm certain we'll find upgraded versions of chests later, but for now, we're just gonna rock with these bad boys. How many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or nine across. Let's let's make it ten across. Let's get wild. Let's let's just get wild with it, guys.
I'm out of wood already. Oh my god. I'm out of wood, guys. I am woodless. But why? Because I am a natural hoarder. I, in video games, feel the need to put everything in my pockets. And if it doesn't fit in my pockets, then it goes in the pockets of my house. That's why. Under 64 chests in a single house, Rick? Holy Jesus, dude. I thought I was bad. God damn. You gotta keep everything, exactly. What's up, Morning Iron? Oh. Ah. Okay. Not as great as I thought. That's my blood on the ground. Yikes. Stop ignoring these stones and bushes. Man, I've got limited inventory space and I have an objective of building a house right now. You think that all the stuff in this area is going to magically disappear? That's not how the game works. We'll be fine. I'm on official wood business right now. God. These trees are violent. Thanks, JDM. All right, I hear the monsters gathering. Hey, bud, how you doing? You want the bonk? Ow. How'd you, how'd you not die? Hello? Stamina. Worth it. Any more? Someone's up the hill. There you are. Come here. <laughs> You're just going to walk away? All right, come here. Okay, now where was I? Where's the tree? Did I not just cut down a big old tree? I guess I harvested it already. All right, carry on. That glowing aura is your character, Jesus? Um, you know, maybe so. Maybe we are Viking Jesus. Hey, nice, Schwinn. Thanks for joining us. Chop down the log. You guys ever feel like you've just gone full lumberjack mode? You ever just feel like you're just a master of all the all the trees, master of wood, if you will? You just feel like a lumberjack in the moment. Happy second day of Hanukkah. Hey, happy second day to Hanukkah to anyone that celebrates. Oh, we got something on us. Ah, Great Wars. Surprise. Oh, where's my shield? Hello? Okay, could you stop smacking me around? I'm gonna die. I have no health, man. Oh, I missed.
Very good. Okay, the bow is definitely coming in clutch in these moments. I like it. All right, where was I? What tree was I cutting down where? You're a lumberjack and that's okay? Hell yeah. Who do you think you are? Man, I will say, these clubs stagger constantly. When you got a good rhythm going, you just stagger them so easily. That's nice. I should be careful here. I don't want these trees to fall on my head. Neat. I have to pick up this game. I'm playing it on Steam myself, but it is on uh, Game Pass as well. If you have that PC Game Pass specifically. Oh, the gang's all here. These rocks. I have four health. There's the one that ran away. He's all the way over there somewhere. Hey, come here. All right. The other one ran away. I don't know why, but he did. You want three pounds of Christmas cookies? Uh, three pounds of Christmas cookies? Holy shit, man. That's a lot of cookies. No, I'm good. I don't think I need that many. I simply am not in need of that many cookies, my dude. Thank you, though. Okay, we have so many chests. Let's break that one. Those already have stuff in them. Um, I'll tell you what, we're gonna organize all this shit later. I'm not so worried about actual organization in this moment. I'll organize this after stream. All right, we need more wood though. I'm in need of more wood. I actually use this yet no need a roof so this is this is uh this is gonna be great guys it's a nice open concept <laughs> nice open concept home taking the whole idea of open concept to the next level okay we need more flint for that leather scraps and deer hide for that should make a beehive too hmm Let's see. I think I should probably put up some more, uh, some more poles. Oh. Very good. Missing requirement. I need more wood again. 
all right it's okay because i know i know we just used a whole lot of wood when it came to uh, making those chests we don't have to worry about that so much now so let's go get more wood shall we the bones of the house are coming together it's all coming together guys This stream is made of, that's what she said, and I can't keep up. That's what she said. What was I just going to do? I need... I need metal. Where's all my metal? There it is. You cannot kill the metal. beautiful thing guys it's a beautiful thing what she said is you need more wood oh bitch <laughs> feels bad man What is this game? Is it fun? Uh, Fishing with Wyatt. This is a survival game called Valheim. And it is fun. It's got fun combat. It's got fun building mechanics. It's a pretty good vibe, man. This is the guy that ran away earlier. He went and got more friends. You see that? Okay, why are there so many of you coming out of the woodwork? What is this? Who do you think you are? I'm gonna die. Let's roll. Oh! Okay, well, I'm dead. Hey guys, so the good news is I died right next to my house. The other good news is that's the first time I died to anything monster related in this game. We have died. You feel cold. Yeah, no shit. I'm naked, man. I'm naked, bud. All right, items recovered. Look at that. Very good. Yo, Jersey Bob becoming a member of the channel. That's hella nice, man. I'm glad you enjoyed here in such a way that you want to do that. Thank you so much. Hope that the emote, you enjoy the emotes and stuff you can use in chat, as well as my videos comment sections. Thank you very much for that, dude. Thank you very much. I think I see a shaman out there. Thank you, Jersey Bob. Thank you, thank you. Hey, where are you going? Come here. Oh. These guys are everywhere right now. Turn around, fight me. Okay, very good. Let's get back to chopping tree. What was that growl I just heard? I don't know. To be close to the black wood? Yeah, the black wood is right there. I'm just taking time to expand uh, my house. 
So that way, I won't have to worry about it for a while and we'll be able to do forging and all that stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's the way survival games go, Seal. Yep. No, I've not used a knife yet, Schwinn. I have not used a knife yet. Oh, there's a boar. It's probably what was growling a moment ago. Audio's better than war zones. No audible creeps and creatures. Yeah, see, the thing about Warzone is every game has better audio than it. <laughs> Unfortunate reality. Yeah, for sure, Iron. Yeah, it does a great job at the pacing. I'm enjoying it. All right, we got some more wood. Let's go build. Uh oh, what are you doing here? Who do you think you are? There's more on the way as well. These guys are pretty relentless. There was another one here, but he just ran off somewhere. Yeah, get off my lawn, man. That's what I'm saying. All right, let's see. We need to make more walls. So let's do something weird. Let's go with half walls. Yeah. Go on then. Go on. Wait, why did that happen? Did I actually overlap some of them? Must have. I'm not going to break down this roof just yet. We'll leave it as is so we can keep using the, uh, the workshop. And then we need some more wood poles. Okay. Very good. Very good. Terminator, thank you for 13 months of membership. Hey, dude, so I was playing some games early and my roommate plugged in a heater and blew the fuse on all the outlets in my room. Well, that sucks. Luckily, you're able to turn them right back on unless they burnt out, but hopefully that's not the case for you. Thank you for 13 months of membership, man. I appreciate it. Welcome back. Thank you very much. Came back in holy chests, man. Yeah, we got uh, we got some storage 
storage space, bud. Yeah. But you know what we could do now, too? Let me look at this. Oh, needs a roof. Of course. Classic. Classic. Uh, I need to decide how I want to do the roof. It's probably going to be the most annoying part for me. Um. Hmm. Well, let's see. Let's break that. Do we want to do this? Is this possible? Jump, dude. Thank you. Now, I can't build it right off of the beam itself. So what I think I'm going to need to do here is... this jump oh my god are the vikings bad at jumping or <laughs> what the hell's going on here dude all right that's good there put that there and then i think i want to put a wood beam right here Why is this not going how I want it to go right now? Hello? There we go. Jesus. That took some effort. Bruh. Jump. Jump. Thank you. Very good. Neat. Jumping is a skill that improves over time. It is. It is indeed. You are right. I don't think this is going to stay. It was red, so I think it's going to break. Yeah. Okay. So this means we need to put... <laughs> it's a little risky doing that, but it's fine. All right, look at that. Support, baby. Woo. We do appreciate some good support beams. Yes. We do appreciate good support beam action. Very good. Look at that. All right, it's all coming together. I need more wood, though. Son of a... <clears throat> it's fine. that enough to use this damn thing? Probably not. It is! Hell yeah. Yeah, I'm actually kind of liking how this is going. This is all right. Need a whole forest for this mansion? I know, dude. The deforestation efforts. Let's go get more wood about it, okay? House is looking great? Yeah, I'm liking it so far, man. Yeah, this game is such a vibe. I love it. Do, 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 do. Okay, we only have uh, about a hundred in space right now. Oh, wait. Oh, my boars. What are you doing here? Go away. Bing bong. Oh, my God. I am the best lumberjack in the world. One swing takes the tree down.
Did I say you could do that? Come here. There you go. You want some too? Let me break down the trees in peace. Need stamina. Oh. Holy earth tree, how big is that damn tree above your house? Massive. Yeah, that tree over there is an oak tree. I don't have strong enough uh, axe to break it down, unfortunately. I found tin yet? Yeah. I have the capability to start making some bronze, but I want to just kind of finish up like the roof on the house first. Oh, okay. That hurt a little bit. Why do the trees hurt so much? Give to me your wood, please. Build ye old Viking chainsaw. Ye old Viking chainsaw, he says. Right. That's a great idea. Thank you. Perfect. Is the direction of the trees fall predictable? Sometimes, but other times if it's like too straight up, it'll just kind of like budge out in a random direction. Yeah, I'm actually really liking the format of this so far. What I really need to do is maybe uh, break down this little, like, small little cliff thing a little bit more. And then I can like, build a small garden over here. You know? Any gardeners in the chat? Any gardeners? Would you look at that? Just look at it. Just look at it. Um. What am I doing with my life? There we go. Jump, please. Thank you. Jump again. Oh, there we go. Perfect. No, I need you to really just line this up for me, game. Um... There we go. Perfect. some of these all right I'm not sure if this is gonna be able to hold the weights I don't think it is yeah that's getting pretty risky ah uh -huh. okay let's build a support beam or two right here Look at that. We've got support, baby. Look at this. It's all coming together. It's all coming together, dude. This is nice.
Yeah, I'm liking this shape. I'm liking the shape. Um, hmm, let me, let me see. I might do something else on the outside here. Maybe. Isn't there a lower angled roof? Yeah, right here. Leave that hole there as a tiny little uh, ventilation area for the fire. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, chat. This is nice. Oh my god, I love it. Okay, now. A ladder? True. Ladder would be good. Okay, this ladder's not so good as there's space in between it and the wall, but it's fine. Okay, now that we're up here, uh, how much wood do I have? Two. Son of a bitch. We're almost done! Guys, we're almost there. It's okay. Just bear with me. Are you pushing a speedrunner just casually checking Valheim out? Just casually checking it out, Jammin'. This is my first time playing it. Do, do, do. Yeah, I'll figure something out for the for the fire. Ah. The boys are coming. Come on over, friends. You gonna swing? It's kind of cool how they actively try to outflank you, man. I really, I really think that's, that's pretty cool. They actively try to find like a position you're not looking towards to hit you in the back and stuff. Houston, we've got wood. Guys, do me a big favor. If you haven't already, make sure you leave a like on the stream. We're almost at 500. And honestly, the support on today's stream was much bigger than I was expecting. So I really appreciate you guys tuning in for something a little bit different on my channel. I'm looking forward to playing more of this game in the coming days. This has been a very good time. good very nice all right let's see what we can do with this wood right on jamaican right on dude Okay, so for this here, this should be good, right? This should be fine. Oh my god, the game is vibrating me. Please stop.
What are we thinking, guys? What are we thinking? Is this cool or is this cool, man? I'm I'm pretty pleased with it. I definitely need more lights. Can I hang torches on the wall or anything? Is that a possibility? It house, yes, it house. Forge. We gotta make bronze. Whoops. Is that all we have for the metal right now? There's some more metal. It's a little dark in here. It's a little dark, but it's okay. Let's make some bronzy bronze. Oh, so many new recipes. All right, we've got 11 bronze in our pocket. We can make a bronze buckler. Uh, we've got a bronze axe, bronze plate cuirass and leggings, bronze at gear, mace. I need leather scraps for the mace. I'm gonna go ahead and make myself a mace and a buckler first. And then an ax. Do I not have more than that? There it is. Oh, I need, I need so much more bronze. Holy shit. Well, uh, realistically, I probably should have started with a pickaxe then. I I didn't realize it was going to be so expensive. That's my mistake. It's fine, though. It's fine, dude. I will take some time to organize this and, like, make, make better of it and all that. Seeds. Remember those there. Rocks. Where'd I put the seeds? There they are. There's the feathers. Put this hammer away. All right, we're looking good. We're feeling good. Let's burn that real quick. You know what I might do? Um, how much does it take to make these bronze uh, nails? Just one bronze? All right, now we can build a cart. I need wood for a cart as well, I assume. Not sure how much though. Let's see. Five. Nope, six. This. Carts. Hey, 20 wood. So let me go grab some more wood. Did I just burn that food? Shit. <laughs> when I said burn the food, I was being sarcastic, but I actually just did. All right, I need a little bit more wood. We've now transitioned from Lumberjack Simulator to Mining Simulator. We're evolving. We are evolving. Man, this forest used to be a lot bigger, guys. What happened? New here. How far in are we? Did you find any bosses yet? I've only killed the first boss so far, Andrew. We are about four and a half hours into this playthrough, and it's the first time I've done this. I knew it was a mistake not eating food. All right, we've got the bronze mace now. Come at me. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh baby. 
Oh, guys, the damage upgrade is real. Come here. You're all dead now. Oh, baby. That's a good upgrade. Sharkbit, have a great night. Thank you for hanging out with me today, dude. I will see you next time. Come here. Where are you going? Hit him with the big strike. <laughs> dude, <laughs> this mace is so good. Have a great night, Shark. Thank you again for hanging out today, dude. As a bonus, they all drop wood. Exactly. It's kind of nice. What's my streaming schedule? I basically stream every day until I complete a playthrough or I feel I need a couple days off. Uh, generally speaking, I I almost always announce when I'm going to be live as well as if I'm not going to be streaming for any specific reason on the community tab on my YouTube channel, as well as I often uh, talk about this stuff in my Discord channel. So make sure you join up on there. If you haven't yet, if you use Discord, it's a great place to be. A lot of people from our community hang out in there on the regular. And then, of course, from there, I do have a Twitter, but I don't really use it much. And then, uh, yeah, that's about it. All right, so we have a cart now, which means we can bring that along with us to go get some, uh, some metal. Some metal. I, guys, I had wood in there. I just realized. It's fine. Everything's fine. We're all good. I'm going to make another antler pickaxe. Actually, no, I can't. And it's raining. I left the other antlers over at my original house. And now it's all storming and wet. Never have enough wood anyway. That's a fair point. I left my door open while taking a nap. That can't be good. Yeah, Richard, it's great, dude. The atmosphere of this game is amazing. Okay, so I guess we're going to make a trek back to our original house all the way over here. <laughs> I, that, day one, that was my first death. I died because a tree fell on me while I was cutting it down. <laughs> all right, let's go back to our original house and uh, go grab our stuff. Oh, damn, Neil. Oh, damn. Hey, what do you want? Also, when I get back to the house, someone remind me uh, to see what I need to do to make a cauldron. I should have done that before going, but it's fine. I mean, look at this, guys. The music, the storm, the beard, the lightning. Oh, my God.
I've already marked that one. Very good. So I wasn't sure if they respawned. That definitely confirmed that they do. It would make sense if they did, of course, but sometimes games are dumb. Um, I think it's worth trying to swim across. Yeah, we'll be fine. Barely made it. Shoot, wasn't there something else I needed flint for? What? Man, there is some extreme drop, even at close range. God damn. Tried boss buff yet? No, I'll use it on my way back though. Forgot about that. Oh my God, I one shot the boar now. This was a pretty big upgrade over the previous club, wasn't it? Damn. I'm on official business. Leave me alone. All right. We remember this is where we first spawned into the game. There's the Eekthir trophy. And there's our tiny little house, the first one. Ah, nice. There they are. Let's take all this. Take all the important business with me. Definitely need all the food. Um, I'm not so worried about the trophies. I'm not so worried about that. Nor the seeds. Yeah, I think this is fine. This is good enough. All right, let's go ahead and pop this. What is that? I think it's F. Yes. All right, now when we run for the next five minutes, it uses 60% less stamina. So now we can go real fast. Bring the fishes? Nah, we'll be able to uh, go back if I end up eating them for whatever reason. We'll be okay. Oh, we can run forever. Look at this. My God. Remember when I said earlier that we're going to need to run a marathon? We got that unlocked now. Some big lightning. Looks like low budget Witcher 3. Eh, I mean... Surely it's a lesser budget than Witcher 3, but regardless of graphics, the game is still quality, man. And even then, the graphics are endearing. I love this art style. Just because it doesn't have a million pixels on the screen doesn't mean it's not quality.
Okay, we're almost back at the house already. Good stuff. Hey, Saul, what's up? Take this opportunity to get more feathers. Excuse you? Be gone. Be gone, foul demon. Fast prefer highly stylized visuals over expensive photorealism in games. I do for the majority of stuff too. The majority of what I enjoy is just something that just kind of makes sense, fits the vibe of what you're going for, you know? I forgot to put flooring right here. Where's my wood? Okay. Um... Put a chopping block there. More leather scraps for that. Cauldron is 10 tin, so we need to get some more tin while we're out. Um, Anvils needs two bronze. Do I have two bronze? I just might. I do. Damn it. There we go. Forge is level two as well. Fire arrows. Oh shit, man. Wood, resin, and feathers. So flint head arrows are eight to 16 damage. Fire arrows are three to seven, plus the fire to seven to 13. So that's 10 to 20. I'd say the fire arrows are more worth it. They require a lot of resin per 20, though. Let's make that. Let me make myself a quick leather helmet in a moment, too. Uh, let's put all this stuff away. I'll have to organize the hell out of this later. That's what I'm going to do right after stream is I'm going to organize all this shit. Let's get some food there. Put this away for now. I bet you I could take down trolls with the fire arrows pretty well. I bet you I could. I'm not worried about it right now. We're going to go. We're going to take this food once it's done. And we're going to get out there and uh, start mining. All right. So now that we have this cart, we can strap it around our waist and run around with it and uh, put our material in there. Pretty cool. I feel like... Are you kidding me? I was about to say, I feel like running through the forest with a cart is going to be very annoying. Also, I'm pretty sure these things lose health over time, so that's great. Yeah, it's already about broken. God damn it. Do you like the Blasphemous game? Uh, I've not played it. So I can't really say. I want to bring this back to the house real quick and repair it. And we're going to try to run a little smoothly.
Well, it's a good idea. Just kind of break it and then put it down when I need it. True. Oh, I can't break it. I can't break it. Oh, you know what I can do is just this. Oh my God, you have so much health. Break, damn you. There we go. All right, we got the nails, we got the wood. Very good. Yeah, I, I've done the, um, I do know the workbench trick. Yeah, yeah. All right, so what I'm looking for today is some tin. Speaking of tin. Ask and you shall receive. Went a little far on that one. And now I'm wet. Are you tin? You are not tin. I'm on official tin business. Where did, where's it at? Lots of rocks around, but no tin. Oh, that's Flint. I'm back in the meadows. That really blows. Wow, the coastline in the black forest here is very small. That sucks a lot for me. Maybe this river will help us. It will. Or not river, but stream. What's my favorite game on the Switch? Nintendo Switch, man. It's all about dead cells. Dead cells on the Switch is super good. It's on other platforms as well, too, but... Uh, there's just something about playing dead cells in bed, you know? Let's follow this water here. It's 10 o'clock. Yes. Oh, there's copper again. I want to say hello to the copper deposit. Hello there, copper deposit. We're here for the tin, though. Be back for the copper later. Looks like that's the extent of the tin there. How many do I have? 13. Well, we're going to have enough for the cauldron, which is nice. But in order to actually make... That's a troll. In order to actually make uh, bronze, I need so much more. Oh my god, would you climb? I think it's a cave right there, actually. Yeah, my dude is guarding the entrance to a cave. That's terrifying. Wonder what's in there that he needs to protect. Are you talking about uh, marking the copper? Grim, so I've already got all the copper in the area marked. The immediate vicinity, anyway. Another troll inside makes sense. 
Trolls inside, trolls outside, trolls everywhere. Need to find another waterway. Some type of water so we can get tin. Blueberries. <gasps> it was worth it in that moment to mark the big blueberry patch, and now I'm leaving goodbye. These trolls are massive, dude. That's a big boy. Um, something glowing purple. What does this say? Let all who read me beware of the gray dwarfs, the skulkers in darkness, the soulless ones. They are born from rot and rainfall. They spring like mushrooms from the smoking soil. There is nothing on their tongues or behind their eyes. Those who fear nothing should still fear them. When the soul of a murderer or a great sinner rots under the ground, it makes a hollow cyst which draws rock and wood and moss to it. It gathers up the up the peat into flesh, braids reed into bone, and takes rags for skin. It should not walk, but when the night comes, it walks. Should you who read this? Should you who read this see one with a sword to your hand, lance it and let it out. Or put it to the torch, for it fears the flame. This must be a Grey Dwarf spawner, then. Kill the shaman quickly too. New material, ancient seed. All right. Very nice. Doing all right, Spider-Man. How are you? You're doing fantastic. Good to hear it, dude. Good to hear it. Mythit Blue, have a great night. Thank you for hanging out today. I'll see you later. All right, so I'm just trying to go down the hill here. Though there's a troll there. Just trying to go down the hill because, you know, water is always downhill. Trying to make my way to a stream or a coastline or something. The spawner out there. Big boy brute right there. Oh. Oh. Okay, bro. Not expecting them to spawn one stars on me here. I definitely need to make that bronze buckler ASAP. But the good news is they led me straight to water. Another ancient seed? Huh. Neat. More of you, huh? Come here. All right, good news, guys. We found water, so let's scour it for some more tin. Very nice.
Of course, it's dark out now. There's some tin. Nice. What is the survival game? Jose, this is called Valheim. It's actually been out in early access for quite a while now, but I, uh, I'm playing it for the first time myself. There's a lot of tin right here. Holy. All right, this stuff's getting real heavy, guys. It's time to drop that, uh, that carts. I don't have a workbench on me. Right. This. Here. And then carts. Here. And then you can use the carts and then put all the heavy stuff inside of it. Look at that. Very nice. Get away from me, man. Back to the tin farm. I'm very paranoid. We passed by what? Two trolls? Someone just threw a rock at me? No, there's fighting going on over there. Huh. Yeah, I know him. We'll be all right. We'll be okay. What the hell was that? There's another spawner way over there. Alright. We're actually kind of close to the elder. It's up this way. Let me take this bird out. I missed. Something's behind me. A brute's. Everything's fine. It's all good. Put the wood in there. Let's just put those in there too. It's fine. Squeeze on through, brother. Let's go up this way and a little bit to this side. We have a whole bunch of water down here we can still scour. This is good news. If I'm going to be out here... Oh, that's a troll. Shit. If I'm going to be out here, I may as well try to bring home as much tin as possible without making myself unable to actually move. However, that troll definitely puts a damper on things. And there's a shaman over there, too. You know what they say, it sucks to suck. All right, we got some skelly boys over here. Oh boy. You and the troll should be friends. Okay. More skeletons. Okay. We've got a whole bunch of stuff out here. <gasps> oh, shit. I failed my block. 
Oh shit, man. Hey, I'm just uh I'm just trying to get some more health back, you dig? Oh my god. My feet got stuck on that. Everything's fine, guys. No one's panicking, you're panicking. It's it's just you that's panicking, not me. I'm cool as a cucumber out here. Oh, that went right through him. Everything's fine. We're good, dude. Almost one shot him. Are you really hitting my cart? You are a son of a bitch. Do, do, do. Fine. Oh, out of stamina. You better not be going after my cart right now. Oh, I was hoping that I would just kill him with that. Okay. That sucked. My health regen is basically non-existent right now. <laughs> Just running around in circles out here with some skeletons. It's fine. Normal things you do, right? I'm afraid that even if I parry, it's still going to do enough damage to kill me. That's what I'm afraid of right now. I've got plenty of arrows for this. Wait, why are you running away now? Bow level 10. Don't go break in my cart. Yes. Yes. Don't go break in my car. Oh man, now a brute. Hey, why don't you fight each other? Yes. Oh, that is just solid gold, sir. Ow. Listen, man, I'm trying to not die. Man, we traded a skeleton for a brute. I'm not sure how to feel about this. Oh, you're stuck? No, 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 no. Come here, come here, come here. There you go. Oh, bitch. Oh, perfect. I mean, whatever. You're leaving? That's fine. So am I. I'm just going to bring this shit back to my house. I'm just, I'm just going to go. It's fine. It's cold outside. There's monsters everywhere. I think I just need to take what I have home. We got enough tin. We can make a cauldron. That's a good step. So far, so good. Pain don't hurt. I've only died a couple of times. Uh, one of them was to a tree. <laughs> the other was to a massive amount of gray dwarves all at once. And it's just been fun kind of learning the game. It's been a great time. Let me mark this copper. No, I'm not bringing any copper on the way out. There's a whole b bunch of copper veins right next to the house. So I'm not too worried about having to find any or anything like that. We're good. Tin is definitely the more difficult thing to find for me right now. 
Oh, it's so heavy. Yeah, it doesn't sound very fun, Jersey Bob. 85 below Fahrenheit is terrifying. Um, holding on to uh, my Eek Theory buff just in case a troll pops up or something and we need to sprint away like a mad lad. It's not going to fit through all that. Uh oh. What was that growl? a troll. Well, we're going to go this way towards this little village. Yes, very good. Away from the troll, Meister. We're doing all right. Oh, there's a gray dwarf following me. I'm noticing that uh, oftentimes where a troll is, there are several gray dwarves nearby too. Noticing that pretty often. All right, we're almost home, guys. We're almost there. So this means there's actually a troll really close to my house, too. He's like right over there. Mild discomfort about that idea. Let's get our smelt on, baby. It's real smelting hours out here. All right, very good. Very nice. I'd call that a pretty successful trip, guys. Yeah? Smelt a fish? Just, yeah, let me just melt this fish, fish down into ingots. Ingots. Question, is this able for me to join? Always wanted to play online, never figured out how. So there are servers that you can join up that are public so you can like play with random people as well as you can like start private servers with your own friends too. What I'm doing myself though is completely solo so I won't be having anyone join up. I need 10 tins so we're just kind of standing here waiting for it to do its thing. I'm definitely going to have to go through the uh, the Black Forest and find more Sertling cores so I can make more of these things. 
I, it'd be really cool to have like, I don't know, maybe three or four of each of these. So that way we can just keep it going. In that, like, you know, forever. Yes, I am Torrent from Elden Ring. Yes. Whoosh. It's what I'm wearing now, Scarecrow. Wearing leather stuff right now. I like my little house. I like this. This is nice. Hey, Veronica, how you doing? Sleeping auto finishes, kiln and smelter. Yeah, but you can't sleep during the day. Five more tin, and then we have a cauldron on our hands. There's different better leather armor. Ah, that's okay. We're going to skip it and go straight for bronze. It's fine. get rid of this thing. Let's smooth this out a little bit here. Tell you what, I might work on this little area a little bit off stream as well. So that way you guys don't have to watch me, like, just do renovations all the time. <laughs> Very good. We need two more tin. What's the green ore thing? Um, if you're talking about this, this is just moss covered rock. One more. You guys like watching the renovations? I mean, if you like watching them, then that's cool. Kind of get Guild Wars 1 vibes from the music. You know, I can kind of see that. Man, I love Guild Wars 1. What a good MMO. What a good MMO that is. Okay. All right. Let's see what this thing can do for me. We have a lit fire under the cooking station. Okay. Um, did that give me the... Okay, good. So I need a whole bunch of fire. Which means that I'm going to have to change up that roof there, too. Oops. We break that down out of the way. Give me these materials, crafting, cauldron. Very good. No. 
Yes. All right, what can this thing do for me? Queen's Jam. Raspberry and blueberries. 14 health, 40 stamina. Ooh. Ooh. I've got eight of those now. That's tight. Well, that gives me a whole new reason to continue farming those. Um, raw fish. Mead base, minor healing. It needs to be fermented, poison resistance, minor stamina, tasty, and boar jerky. Boar's meat and honey. Nice. Okay. Sick. Sick. All right. I like that. I like that. Okay. So that means the next thing we need to work on is just more bronze and stuff in general. I need to get a total of five, 10, 15, 23, 33 bronze to get everything that I want. And then I'm sure I'm, I'm sure I'm going to need more bronze to continue to like actually upgrade that stuff, which I will do when I get there. So we need 33 plus bronze, which means what is that? A total of 66 copper and 33 tin. That's a lot. That's a lot of stuff. But okay, uh, that is what we will be doing tomorrow, guys. That is what our objective is tomorrow. Getting ourselves all bronzed up. Bronzed out of our minds. Getting a whole bronze set and then, uh, you know, we're gonna get more Sertling cores. We're gonna try to maybe fight the second boss, all that stuff. We'll continue on tomorrow, okay? If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And of course, make sure you hit the like button on the video so that way YouTube will recommend the channel to more people. Thank you guys so much for tuning in for Valheim. This was a very good time. I loved playing this today. Seriously, had a blast. I hope you guys had a good time here too. And I hope to have you guys here for more tomorrow. I hope to have you guys here for more. We're gonna continue playing. It's gonna be a good time. We're gonna work on bronzing ourselves up. It's gonna be cool. Okay, we have a nice house, nice little uh, long, long house. I like it. Very good. Yeah, I'm happy with the progress we made. Guys, thank you all for tuning in once again. I appreciate it. Thank you for being here today. I will see you guys tomorrow for more, okay? 4 p.m. Eastern time. I'll see you there. Until then, be excellent to each other. Much love, folks.